this. Wall of horror. You really look fucking cool. I, I hope I like it too. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Tough Crazy. Thank you very much. It says, I hope the stream is going well. Yeah, I'm having fun. Oh, you scared me. Well, <laughs> poor, this channel is a pre release beta and might not function as expected. If you encounter an error, please contact bugs at wowgame.com. With your costume, are you a raccoon or a trash? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it looks cool. Oh. Why'd you do the real long hi, Killian? You like my costume? You like it? You like it? Ah. <laughs> 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 Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes and display modes to choose from. Does, does it look okay, by the way? Does, can you, uh, can you see everything? Um, two bit, one bit. Oh, I see. What? That's so cool. Oh, wow. How should we make it look? Is your filter for the game source area? Um, you need to fish out your vampire teeth for this month. Suddenly you want to become a vampire. Is your filter for the game source area? I don't, I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. Okay, um... Let's do... Uh, I need to decide on one of these. I kind of like this one. What do you think? That one's pretty colorful and nice. Um, uh, and mold onto your cans with a kind of awkward to speak with. Looking cool, streamer. Uh, I like this one. I like this one. Cool. Cookie is the most talented senior manager ever. Yeah. He's a good manager. If it's your, if that's your first time playing World of Horror, it's recommended you start with the spine chilling story of school scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Um uh, uh let's see what it says. Does anyone with stream mods or BS know if it has a right click skill filter area for sources? Um, I will leave for five minutes and come back to see you dressed up all adorable. <laughs> it's a costume. Every day during October, um, I'm gonna, um, I'm playing a regular game and then I'm getting into my costume and playing a horror game. Huh, <laughs> you love this game so much. Stream Labs. Um, skill filter or for Oh, are you talk? So, are you saying you want me to make like the like, the gameplay area bigger? Is that what you you're asking? Um, skill filtering area. Hmm. Um, what the heck is that first nerd's name? Did I make this game? No. <laughs> Um, so click on uh, World of Horror. Um, is it, uh, fil fil filter, hold on, filters. Um. Okay. Skill filter. You want, you want, what you're asking is you want, oh, hold on, skill filter. I'm not, I'm not sure what the objective here is. Um, what a what a what what? Um, um, what? Where is 
it? Hold on. Um, skill filtering area. You remind me a little bit of Malibus Snow from Hotel Transylvania. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Scale filter. Uh, f filters. Ag. Uh, sc scale filter. Scale filtering. Scale filtering. Scale filtering. Properties. For scale. Play through. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I should start with Spine Chilling Story of School Scissors. What's extracurricular activity? I prepare the standard playthrough. Quick play. A true chaos. It will start a new playthrough randomly selecting character, old god, background, and more. Zoom! Zoom, this game is neat. It was made by one guy and he's got some he got some interest from Japanese gamers. Oh, cool. Okay. You need suggestions for scrub level piano pieces. Ah, uh, if if my friend Contra Caustics was here, he would help you. But if you go over to his channel, um, um, he he would be able to give you advice. I'm sure he usually streams at night, though. For my time, um, I'm gonna choose this one. So you see, a call of Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Ah. Oh. Huh. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and it robes the lines. <laughs> An old train stops, slows down, and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. Skill filtering. And... Contra cross... Cross sticks. Um... Huh. All my pumpkins are planted in wards. I'm happy. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. No ritual active. Oh, I have some stats. I have stamina and reason, I guess. And it looks like strength, dex, and per per perception or perseverance or something might be part of stamina. Knowledge, charisma, charisma, and find. I am doomed! What is doom? Items. Whoa, this is cool. Uh, why does your friend look exactly like you? You look like Contra. Contra is very good looking, so you are probably very good looking too. Okay, uh, the story so far. Where do I go? You've been following the weird cult for weeks now. Barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. What? It's a race against time, and you can't rest until a child is safe. Combat tutorial on. 
Start the mystery. Ooh! This looks cool! Skin hack. Yeah, spine chilling story of school scissors. Can can you guys make out the details? Can you see the details? Does it look does it look bad? I should ask him about his hair pox. They look all good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He's also incredibly smart. He's insanely smart and good at piano, too. He's Pog. Looks fine for AP. It's looking great. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, another boy from his school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest desires. You knew your friend was up to something when he left his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to start using a notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> the school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your friend, your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an altered symbol, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can, you can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's check out the school lockers. <laughs> They have weird symbols on them. You need a tiny key to open this locker. That's not normal lock, graffiti. <laughs> I like the sound. <laughs> oh, there's a wooden bat in here. Okay, I, I picked I picked it up. And this is bugs. Oh no, it's bugs. Okay, we need a tiny key to get in here. Is this like the weather? Um, back here. Okay, we've checked the lockers. Let's let's explore the school. Let's explore the school. This makes you want all your books now, really. Oh, does it? I hope I. <laughs> oh, look! He's cute! As you enter the school gym, you notice a storage block doll propped up against the wall. Needs anatomy class perk. Oh, there's two options. I can come closer, and if I had this perk, I could take this other option. Um. Well, I mean, I I guess I will. Oh! Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What makes will you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll is no doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. It's on Steam, 15 bucks. Yeah, it's about $15. Um, I'm sure we're, we're vampire and masquerade fans. <laughs> Hogrox, thank you very much for the... Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much for the raid. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. 
I hope you had a good day. We were playing some Battle Brothers. Playing some Battle Brothers. Hope you had a fun stream. Ah. <gasps> you like my costume? <laughs> Your new avatar is adorable. Oh, it's just my Halloween costume. You like my... You like it? <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. It's too hydraulic. We're just playing a little bit of World of Horror here. I uh, I put I put on my costume and we're ready to play. It's two a.m. You're doing your best. Okay, uh, so we lost two reason. A reason is uh, fourteen now, I guess. Oh, thank you for the follow, Emery. I hope you enjoy it here. I always got this. Um, okay, we haven't found the blessed chalk or the holy candles, so we can't perform the ritual. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Okay, uh, I guess, uh... I guess we'll investigate schoolyard. Okay. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. What sea creature? What sea creature? This? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Come, probably a dolphin. <laughs> Uzumaki, yeah. During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. B. Once you've filled the sequence bar, C. Oh, uh. Oh! Okay, uh, okay, so this right here, this is the, um, the sequence bar. And this is the action ring. Oh, John D, thank you for the five months at tier B. Thank you very much, John D. Uh, um, <laughs> you like my costume? Or, uh, <laughs> We're playing a little bit of, uh, we're playing our scary game of the day. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> and then we can go trick or treating. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so, so, um, um, uh, uh, so this is the, uh, the, Okay, okay, I'm sorry I can figure it out. This is- I don't really like how they phrase this. Um... The UI is, uh... It is interesting! Okay, um... Uh, my problem is the arrangement of the information, I think. Damage 4, speed 80, chance to hit 70, it's slightly dusty, cool, it's in slot A. Okay, um, this switches the slot it's in. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. Cool. A kick. Time to kick. Can't I use, um... This interface is not great. I agree. You know, trick or treat every day in October. <laughs> you can get a little bit of me and not cute. <laughs> I need candy to sustain my immortal form. <laughs> War. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna do, oh, okay, this is on the action bar, so I put kicks on here now. Okay, we kicked in. Turn two begins. Have an eye cop. It's a Halloween costume. Vampires don't lure. I like your costume, thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Uh. Okay. Uh. Well, for game capture, starts over over scale filtering. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking at something for, I'm looking at something to make the stream look a little bit better. Um, we're being properties, properties. Um, scale resolution, is it scale resolution? Hover over scale filtering. Yeah, I, I can't find it. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, what, wait, we have all these auctions now. Wait, no we don't. A firearm! You can't get a funny funny gun. Attack boost. Prepare your attack. Next attack is guaranteed hit to hit. I don't know, I feel like I should just keep kicking him. Wait, what's in here? Look for an improvised weapon. Well, I thought I had a, um, a wooden bat. How do I use this? How do I, how do I use this? We're uh, get a funny gun for some gunny fun. Kick the frick. Yeah, we gotta kick the frick. What are they trying to indicate to me here? Oh, launch sequence. Okay. Hi, long boy. Hi, long boy. <laughs> um. Okay. We involuntarily attack ourselves. You found a new item, branch. <laughs> ah, spiritual actions: clap, bow, pray. Okay, these are healing moves. These are healing. I can dodge, run away, meditate, <laughs> brace for impact. Um, can you click the bat? And click A slash B to put it into slot A, which is currently no weapon. Um, it, when I do that, it says I don't have time to change equipment, so I think it's too slow. Um, but with the branch, I can. With the branch, I can attack with your weapon. Cool. Can't with the bat, but you can with the branch. Um, okay. Keep doing this. Turn five. This game seems neat. Yeah, it's it, uh, it's <laughs> um I like the music. Wait, what's that? Um okay, defeated forgotten specimen, seven EXP you you bash forgotten specimen, minus three health. Everything in the classroom starts to wave. Um, I will suck your blood. Golem. Kicking is faster than grabbing something. Pick it up. We got a lump of flesh. Is that what he is? He looks like a fall guy. Hmm. Oh, has the game been muted? Uh, let's see. The game has been a little Oh, okay, good. Maybe I'll, I will turn it up a little bit more here for ya. See if you can hear this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we found the, uh, we found an additional page from our friend's diary. It seems the blessed chalk was left on the roof. Okay, I'm gonna equip the wooden bat. Equip the wooden bat. Put in A. What is lump of flesh? It's Eldritch Medicine. I like the tag system, very nice. It's a meat trinket. Five stamina adds new stats. It's undulating slowly. Poke. 
<laughs> what? Uh, your audio levels are low on your PC. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> and Tagox, thank you again for the raid. Yeah. And now the hole is head classy head class. Okay, we gotta get to the roof then. I gotta go to the roof. How's my health? Is stamina my health? Oh, I have two different types of health. I bet I can go bonkers uh, if my reason reaches zero and I'm like, that's one HP um, to die. And stamina is like the other one and it's like, it's like 70 body health and brain health and both of them can kill you. Okay, um, so I'm gonna peek outside. Um... What's that? Um, to open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse. Ah! It wasn't a good idea. New achievement unlocked. You've gained a new status. Horse! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> New moment though. Yeah. Oh, can I look at my status? Holes. Here it is. It's weird that the uh, status effects are up here. Each day, more holes appear. Old oh, mental curse. I keep seeing horrors! Horrors! <laughs> um, okay, let's uh, let's go, let's explore the school. <laughs> go on to the library. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag. In the other, a pair of bloody scissors. Oh, cool! Marked by the scissor lady. Marked by the scissor lady. Hi, D Buff Buff. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna attack with my wooden bat here with a 65% base chance to hit four damage. Cool. Okay, we hit her once, and then we got stabbed with the scissors. We got stabbed with the scissors. <laughs> Oh, we defeated Maru! Thank you very much for the follow and light. And light. Hi, Lord Agna, the Blood Moon. <laughs> we got eight experience for that. Resolve combat. Her action so increased your chance to hit. Kinda weak. Yeah. Okay, we found the blessed chalk. I've. I, I really like the idea of um, there being like a procedural mode. That sounds really pog. That sounds really pog. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm wearing my Halloween costume, you see. Pog. Alright, we've found blast chocolate you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. Okay, we just need the candles now. I just got back on that Limlocula. <laughs> Limlocula, it's me. <laughs> um, okay, and let's redraw sigil. Hopefully it'll be enough. What do you mean, redraw it? What do you mean? Like, do I think I do it wrong or something? Well, I redraw it. Um... And what if, why are there two things? Oh! Can I check, can I check my diary? What does the sigil look like? It looks like this. Be careful with the lines. It can weaken the demon for a while. Okay, so it's a circle with a downward triangle in it and then a wave master staff friend dot hack. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. How do I get out of the storage? How do I get out of the storage? 
No! Um, it says, okay, this can weaken the demon for a while. Be careful of the lines. Mara was acting strange. I need to talk to her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual. That's why the scissor lady is all messed up. The scissor lady was a girl in our class and she be and she and she attempted the ritual to stop the other guards, but she did it wrong and became a scissor lord. A scissor lord. Speaking of candles, I'm hyped for tomorrow's your birthday. Happy birthday, Ragna. Happy birthday, Ragna. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. Okay, we have to go to the classroom. What's this mean? Okay, there is pages there gone. A strange tall woman has been following me all day. I must hurry up. Okay, and back button down here. Yeah, the um, the UI element seems to be in very random places. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So we are going to uh, redraw. Yep, and then no. I mean, that is the closest to it, but it was like, it wasn't up here, it was like halfway down. But I'm guessing they don't care about that. Okay, um, cool. The visual design is pretty neat, it's extremely neat, yeah. I really, I like a lot of things about this game. Um, I... I love the idea of it being like a procedural storytelling thing. <laughs> it's such a cool, and the music and and the aesthetic are very nice. Um, close enough, she'll be right. What? Hi, Renati. Hi, Renati. And Ragna, I hope you have a very good birthday. I hope you get a cool present. Um, I'm gonna check the diary again. Like, it bothers me that this is so low. Um, good time to point out the art, and this is all in this paint. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's explore. Go into the classroom. <laughs> Substitute teacher, a tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lip stops you. Uh, I'll be your new, new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? What we do? What we do? Do we help her? Should we help her? Awesome voice over. Thank you very much. I really like this. Hi, <laughs> everyday boy. Do we help our chat? Um... <laughs> are there any soupy soup... Are there any spooky scary skeletons that send shivers down your spine? <laughs> Padrox says, so seriously, this is so creepy and awesome to listen to. Aww, I'm glad you like it, Padrox. Padrox, I love your stream. Yeah, we know it's Helper. Help her out. Help her, she looks not like a killer. <laughs> are you supposed to be a witch? No! Ah. Can't you... Can't you tell who I am? Uh, yeah, I'm a vampire. <laughs> Thanks. A <laughs> cute vampire, yes. Um, <laughs> oh no, how to stop for blood with those things? <laughs> uh, streamer? <laughs> You've always wanted to be friends with a vampire. <laughs> okay, all, well, let's help her out. Oh, we failed our luck check. We were rolling for a luck check and we failed. The creepy substitute teacher hands you dusty old biological specimens. <laughs> The rancid smell of formalin, 
almost makes you drop the jar. Should Thetis is half this many legs? Mine has two stamina. Lyle's one, you got ten lemons in the cup. Thank you very much for thank you very much for the three months at tier three. Thank you so much, Lyles. Holy cow. Holy moly, guacamole. Oh, hi, Oxyseal. Hello. Hello, is I'm in the ER. Oh, no, you had a possible stroke, but you better can't stay, but I'll see you next time. Um. Um, okay, um, thank you very much for the hundred bits, Kirkloof. Thank you very much. Lola well, looks like she's about to beat me up and take my lines my head on the Lyles, I, I hope you get better soon. Mm. If, if you're able to, I hope you can get your favorite food too. That will help you feel better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, cool. Um, okay, um, <laughs> like the vampire cloak, see you again. Yeah, bye, bye, Lyles. Bye, bye. Lyles, Lyles, Lyles. Lyles, Lyles, Lyles. Um, okay, um, we have to resolve this. Okay. Okay, um, so I haven't found those candles. Um, uh, the sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Oh no. Oh no, we're going bonkers in here. We gotta, we gotta find the classroom that has the holy candles in it. Oh, great. <sighs> Clock tower, yeah. I'm gonna get ya. I don't wanna click this. I don't wanna click this. Are you kidding me? I don't want to click this at all. <laughs> My doom is at 4%. Um. Hi, Fluffetta. Hello. Uh. Lizul says, Do you look or close the tab? Cookie Dove says, Click it, really click. Haha, <laughs> click the stream. Click the screen, streamer. It's just a pog. Seems safe and wholesome. No, this seems terrifying. <laughs> huh. I wonder if he's my Saravatoria from Helsing. I haven't seen Helsing, but it looks good. Okay, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna click it. We're gonna, we're gonna click it. Okay, everyone, I think this might be something scary, so, uh, pass with me and I'll click no! <laughs> the sense of dress. <laughs> okay, I mean, I... <laughs> I want to, I want to. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, uh... Uh... <laughs> cool coffee, Lily. Thank you very much, Narvai. Okay, we're gonna click it. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everyday boy. I did a good job. I did a good job. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Wait. What's that? Uh, no! No! <laughs> He's break he's gonna break the window. Wait, what's that? No! Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. What are you? You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape, 
Soon, it becomes a tall woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. <sighs> Prepare for combat. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. <laughs> Am I beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> so scary. <laughs> the zither woman. That's the zither woman. Can you perform a ritual from battle? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I think we lost the chance to do it. Um. Uh, let's see, strong attack. God, frog, I have been grout hamster. I have been grout hamster. We have a 52... A 54% chance to hit, but it's a, it's a big strong attack. We missed the first one. And we hit the second one. She stabbed us. She raises her scissors. Okay, I'm gonna do a defensive move here. I'm going to, um... Um, let's see, it's strength-based. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brace for impact. I'm gonna brace for impact here. And then I'm going to do a regular attack. No, I should've done it the opposite. Oh no, the scissor woman cuts your face. You feel your cheeks split in half. Scissor woman cackles menacingly. Not gonna lie, so far this hasn't been as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's more and solid than anything. Hopefully Scala and messed up from that hit. Yeah. Oh, I have a message here, what does it say? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, uh, oh, you can right click to delete the combat move. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, she has 10 HP. If I land two strong hits, I will, I will kill her. We got her. We got both of them. You can do a little creepy and so on. Can't you just grab a cup of tea, relax, and take it off? Nice gamble. Thank you very much. Just call me Kaiji. Uh, we've defeated Scissor Woman. 15 experience. Oh no, because my lips got all messed up. Um, ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded, but alive. You help him, and you limp away from the school as if the police sirens get louder. Spine-chilling story of school scissors, ending A. Cool. Her cheeks are all bandaged up. That's scary. Oh, very nice. Thank you. I think we got the good ending. The horror is over for now. Incoming doom for person. Your playthrough lasted 36 minutes and 22 seconds. That's not the only mystery plague in this town. You must continue your investigation. Cool. <laughs> Vampire Lily. Hi, <laughs> Mars. Wonder how much could have gone differently. Um, I'm guessing if I didn't. I don't know, maybe I did get the effect from the ritual, but it said I didn't have it, so I have, I have no idea. Um. Um. <laughs> I'm scared of this. <laughs> <laughs> and Conan Doom is a lovely stat. <laughs> oh, World of Horror. What's new? A never ending summer, nice reference. Um, this content update comes with a new mystery that has three endings and an optional boss fight. Unlockable new character coming with a unique item and four new perks. Balance changes include a new styling perk for Haru. 
bringing him closer to other characters in terms of power. Eight new items, including an occult diary and a heavy duty flashlight. Seven new enemies, including anatomy, horror, and dream eater. Two new macabre endings. Thirteen new events, including another world adventure. New boxer that's gonna test your skills. And a new old god. This new old, this mysterious old god can be unlocked in game and comes with its own set of events. How is Uzwal's mean? Uzwal's mean? Yeah. New store. Oh, randomize. Randomize. All these colors are scarier than before. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Oh, okay, so that, um, what we just did is supposed to be like showcasing what, what cool things happen on the, uh, on the normal run, I guess. A little, a little section of the standard playthrough. You would do an extracurricular. It says, This option will prepare the standard playthrough for you, allowing you to start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff for now. Cool. Customize. Cool music. Last stand. Death mode. Dropping below on some enemies and will kill you and eat all your nerves. Oh, you can randomize uh, what kills you in a run. That's interesting. Um, what's this? Easy, normal, and hard. I mean, I guess we'll do normal. You do custom to see what kind of options there are. I kind of want to see that too. Whoa! <laughs> Well, the four base game were the four unblockables. Oh, you have to unlock stuff. I see, I see. One of the core ideas behind World of Horror is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various, car various card packs with different content. Simply select card packs you want to be included, and continue by pressing the arrow on the bottom. That is really cool. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to I. Um, I'm going to go back. I guess. Press Q to restart. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. And check all. You can't go back. Um. One last thing, a tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said you will know the password. I wonder. What could that mean? Oh, this is the seed! That's so cool! That's so cool! I love procedural games! City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening. Weird figures. Oh, we've already seen this. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. Rapid technological process of the modern era brings comfort, but also new threats. Old gods, malicious elders beings are cruel cool and epic. We have to, we have to, we have to save the world. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. <clears throat> oh! Extra options, randomize, character background. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can be <laughs> cute, cute. You can be a transfer student. Yeah. The swimming team captain. <laughs> a Yakuza driver. <laughs> <laughs> a teen idol. Uh huh, uh huh. Or a photographer. He starts with the camera. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> okay, um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna randomize everything. I'm gonna randomize everything. I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna rise Mars every time. Alexander, 48 BC. <laughs> The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria. A perfect marble, black marble statue has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. Old gods rule, but few of your enemies deal extra damage. Backstory, world of horror. Cool. <laughs> we randomized you for back. We're not even in Japan anymore. We're in Alexandria 48 BC. Okay, we're the photographer. We started with the camera. I love, I love the camera. I love it. I love it. Uh, no allies, town stars. This is interesting. There are uh, more axes than I thought there were in this game. Um, you can get allies. Yeah, you can go different places in the town and you have allies and go find cuties. <laughs> You know what? Okay, I will. I, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Look! This is me. They call me... Ito to the Devouring Flame. <laughs> Entropy, both you and all enemies deal extra combat damage. I think this is the old god. I don't think this guy is me. I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, that's the old god menu. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Cool. Level up. Who oh, is less scary if you've got a key in your body? Ah. Oh. <laughs> that's true. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's uh, can I quit my camera? I don't go anywhere without my camera. Sorry, camera. We found new item. Plus one technology, plus one knowledge. Okay, I'm knowledge based. Am I knowledge based? Am I a big nerd? Okay, I've got my camera in slot B here. Uh, okay, I'm at I'm at my home. You check your mailbox. It's empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Okay, let's go over there. You start with all the mystery even. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. <sighs> There's a rotten report of a rancid ramen. <laughs> a bizarre bruit of the blood curdling botanist. Ooh. A curious case of a contagious coma. A far out fable of a fear festival. <laughs> and a sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. So close, so close. Oh, there's two endings to the sun, the sun, the sun. There's four endings to the sun. The botanist one is named to you. A little racing, yeah. Spooky time. Oh, uh, what do you think, ramen? Soggy sailors, you got it, you got it. Uh, should, uh, should we go to the ramen, or should we go to the botanist, what do you think? Go and vote for botany? Um, what's everybody else think, botany or ramen? God, never vote for botany, gotta vote for ramen. Never vote for ramen? Soup. I'll split the difference and make, <laughs> make myself some ramen to snack on. Let's, let's, uh, let's do ramen. Let's do ramen. Rancid, wrong report of a rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, 
They can't stop. Day and night, the queue stretch out the door. The sambling customers stuff themselves dex after dex, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Maybe it just tastes good, you weirdo. Maybe it just tastes good. We were blah 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 before. <laughs> to advance this mystery, investigate the circle location. As you progress, the location and the rules may change. Okay, um, let's go... A kilo of monster jungle and meat. You got a little master solved. <laughs> Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Okay, um... Okay, cool, cool. Um... Where is this? A quest? Dumpster dive. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Do we have any items besides our camera? Um, okay. Uh, let's go to... Let's go downtown. Investigate downtown. Wait, do we have any money? Uh, I don't think we have any money. Police station. Cost doom to enter. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. So let's investigate downtown. FND is your money. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. I just left home for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barely started. <laughs> you feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you adjust your weakened state? Um... Take a nap. The world may be falling apart, but you really needed that. <laughs> plus our stamina, plus our nice and plus 2% doom. Very immersive event right there, yeah. Okay. Um, so we're, we're gonna go downtown. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition, unaware of the danger. The opening night may prove to be the last night for all of us. It's all oh, two weeks coming and now you know the date. Plus 30% doom, plus 10% experience. Hi Theodore. Oh, I'm a, yeah. This is my costume. Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> Your feet hurt. Is the investigation over yet? No. Uh, well, we have to find the shop, right? I feel like we have to go to the shop to investigate this. So, uh, let me let me go. Good. Look at a dog. <laughs> I love dogs. They're cute. <laughs> Alright friends, I have at least five assignments due to the to the next five days so I gotta get going. Good luck and I speak to you later. Bye dear for the car, good luck. Good luck. Hope you do well. I know you all do well, you're a pog. You love the costume? Thanks, sir danger cards, my Halloween costume. Ah. <laughs> Just in case there's a circle item on your list, that's probably the shop, right? It said you need to investigate the circle locations. Oh! Well, you forgot the colorblind design your costume. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hello. <laughs> you are correct. You are correct. Boop his nose. Pet the doggo. Uh, I'll, I'll ask my manager. If he, maybe he'll say no, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, um, let's see, uh, perception, um, I don't really know what, um, 
I don't really know what items are good yet. I feel like the knife is probably a, a good idea to have. Black market card, that's funny. Surprise discount item. He's a dog. Blue face new. Vampires don't have soft blue eyes. They usually have either bloodshot eyes or red iris. Yeah, but I'm just pretending to be one. <laughs> I'm not really a vampire. Ah, la la la. Hazardy. Hello, Hazardy. I hope, I hope you're having a good day. Um. I want, okay, I want to have a light source and I want to have an, a weapon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this in my hand here. Okay, and uh, travel to apartments. This is a circle location. You are already there. Investigate. Okay, we're investigating. Maybe she has color lenses in after all, but not. <laughs> That's what they all say. It's a lot better since you're alive. Aw, oh, I'm glad you like my stream. Thank you very much. We're on, we're, we're, um, we're playing a scary game. I'm telling a scary story so you can listen in and be really scared. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much, Chris Beloya. Um, while looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Is this why he was... Is this why he died? He was... He painted a cursed painting? Closed attack failure. Intimidated by the unsettling painting. You're haunted by nightmares. Mine is still reason. Okay, well, I could see how that would be unsettling. Okay, I, I, I get it. Um. <laughs> you hear rustling on the other side of the apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. <laughs> I like the perspective. That's cool. Look at how cool that looks. It's apartment stalker. Okay, I'm gonna attack him with my steak knife here. Um, he's got 24 HP. Are you serious? It's a tier three sub. <laughs> oh no! It's so spooky. What a beautiful smile on your friend. Uh, let's see. Uh, tiny 88. Oh, that's how much of the bar it takes up. Okay. Five damage. Okay, I'll just use the regular attack three times. Oh no! I missed and he bashed me in the head with his baseball bat. I have sustained a concussion. Minus one knowledge until the end of the current mystery. Okay, we need ducks for this. This is a dex weapon. Took some more damage. How can I... How can I get more health? He made you dumb. What a beautiful smile on your friend. <laughs> Um, nice costume, Lily. Thank you very much, HQ47 hair. Okay, we defeated him. We got 12 experience. Wait, what's that? We found a baseball bat. <laughs> I mean, you should be familiar with the baseball bat. <laughs> Hi, Boxmas. <laughs> we need ducks for this. <laughs> <laughs> you can help the same way you do in real life by taking a bath. <laughs> um, I like I don't know. I feel like we should heal. Um, cause well, fire escape. Okay. Okay. Um, a petty thief. 
While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening. Perception check, success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. Plus five experience. Is the baseball bat a duck slipping too? I think it is strength. I think I read it is strength. Cool legs. I like these legs. Whoa, good job. Good job. Okay, um, can I equip this? Strength, it's two-handed blonde strength weapon. Um, it's like less strength, but it's still good. Um, well, it's got little things. Ah, uh, <laughs> looks. You can go home and rest at Cross Doom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, can I, can I do all we all? Plus one fun. No, I, I want to, um, I want to put my, can I have my, st oh, this is two-handed, never mind. So what's higher, my dex or my strength? My strength is. It says, the slugs are my wife, I <laughs> need the rest. No, no. Okay, let's all, uh, let's investigate. Let's investigate. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Your neighbor is a horror manga artist. Is this Junji Ito? Is this Junji Ito? Um, he's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his new story. He's my neighbor. W what's that picture? <laughs> um... Um, he's struggling to come up with satisfying and did he ask me? I mean, like, if he didn't ask, I'm not gonna offer anything, but if he's like, hey, help me out! Um... Incredible! He shouts in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Sensing that the story will be a big hit, he pays you a token of appreciation. We've lost experience. Okay, um, 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 it says it seems you are not the only one willing to try for yourself. You stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're stunned. Easy peasy, you've only played this game once. I, I've never played this before, this is my first try, and uh, I think it's pretty pog so far. I kind of like it, I'm interested in it. Um, Let's see, uh, uh, my health is... Well, I'm fine, I'm fine. So we're gonna investigate here. Oh, it's the Wired Preacher. Excuse me. Do, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Oh, are you still there? Oh, uh, should we listen to him? Or should we hang up immediately? Hello, Boundary. Hello, Boundary. Just to be sure, are you still investigating the apartments we mean to investigate downtown. Sorry, it's hard to tell who you are. We are investigating the apartments, and it's because they are circled. Um, so I thought that's where I had to go, but maybe I'm not supposed to. Um, uh, I, uh, should we, uh, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna hang up. You put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Minus one reason. <laughs> okay, um, Travel to downtown. Um, oh, it's the pillar of flame. The pillar of flame. A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. 
You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Let's pursue her. Let's pursue her. Thank you for the follow, Ramon. Thank you. Thank you very much. And don't forget to get a fresh glass of turning your juice. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, okay. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. And thank you very much for the follow, Chris and Ramon. Um. Uh, Yum. It doesn't tell you the circle moves directly, it just moves the circle and expects you to chuck. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Hi, um... Hi, SR. Hello. Hope you're having a good day today. Um, the smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood you smell? Okay, um... Let's investigate. Let's let's investigate. Oh, I've got a bad feeling. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. The location's threat level has increased. It's finally your time to order. One ramen, please. The owner good. The owner is great and widened. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We're investigating the shop. Huh? When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but hesitate, an icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Examine the package. <laughs> No, my dox check failed. <laughs> it's not until you've unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. Yuck! <laughs> Minus two reason. So if it sounds exactly like your hometown, you feel right. <laughs> um... The red ball is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. Okay, um, so let's go home and rest. Cool picture. <laughs> cool robot. Okay, um, okay, um, it certainly feels good to be back at home. You take a short nap on your bed. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Plus two stamina and reason. Time flies by so fast, you prepare yourself to leave and continue your log investigation. Okay, okay. Um, should we rest again, you think? What's our do, Matt? 25%, we can rest again. We'll be fine. Okay, we swallow painkillers, sit on the couch and read our favorite book, two more. Cool. I want you on those to get the two kiss endings you need to fulfill the side objectives. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Um, side objectives. The presentation of the actual storyline and the investigation seems confusing. So, the way it seems is you have to go to the place it designates as, like, the next clue is here. And then investigate, and you get a random unrelated vignette. Like, oh, this is like, there's a box on the subway, even if you weren't in the subway. And then after you're done with that, the story investigation updates up here. Um, so you, it's like, it is kind of weird. It is very confusing, I agree. Not for every mystery, Chris, but a fair amount. Um,. So, like, the stuff up here is the main, like, thread through the investigation and everything that's like, Oh, there's a weird box! Um, or like, Oh, you're called by a weird preacher guy! Um, like, that's all unrelated. Um, discard two iron cards. Okay, um, so I'm going to discard... Let's, uh, let's, um... Let's go to the shop. Where's the shop? 
Salt for items. Boss light. Okay, and how can I discard two item cards? So I'm going to discard my steak knife. Okay, I'm going to discard my camera. Okay, um, it says, you sneak into the alley at the dead of night. Gagging, you look inside the restaurant waste. It's a vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look like promising samples, though. Yuck! Okay, so the side objective, you had to complete whatever arbitrary condition it was, and then you get this, like, little tidbit that's, like, it's part of the main story, I guess. Um... Okay, okay, we got the smelly meat! We got the smelly meat! Food poison. Rancid meat of an unknown source. Hi, Mingo said. Hi, Mingo said. Hope you're having a good day. Roar! <laughs> uh, okay, uh, in inspect. Disgust. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're going to go here. And the red ball is pushed in our face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. Yes, <laughs> the rest. You look so cute and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. I know one ending of the case you're doing. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself in from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. <sighs> uh, the art is pretty good, actually. I really like it. It's very pog. Huh. Okay, uh, we're, I guess we're going. She's a rioter. Uh, minus three all damage. Oh, she damages both stamina and reason. Okay, cool. Cool. You sound different today. Is that new? Oh, yo, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised you were able to hear that. It is the. I'm on a new microphone. Okay, um. So we're going to, uh. 80% chance to hit? That's so cool. It's more clear and pog. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Can I just do this? I don't know. Okay, strong attack. I keep messing every attack. She says, show me what you've got, lizard. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, I'm messing every attack. We're gonna die here. Oh, she only had... She only had 3 HP, too. We've defeated Rioter. Yeah. Wait, what's that? You've picked up a prescription. Plus 12 EXP. Ah, oh, Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weekend, you finally succumbed to your injuries, alone. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. Old God is ready to return once more. You've perished. <laughs> okay. Um. Cool, cool. That was pretty fun. I like that. <laughs> Death. Basically, a run is to complete five mysteries without dying, and the replayability is in the random selection of mysteries, where you'll benefit from remembering all the benefits slash challenges slash risks of each mystery and each event to decide what optimal order you want to do them in. Yeah, it seems like it would take a lot of, um, a lot of replaying to learn, um, in what order you should do things. It's just, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but it's too bit here. Randomize! Randomize! It's kind of cool looking. Kind of cool looking. Continue! Extracurricular! So 
to a no air vampire D junk water and juice no. It's just our costume. <laughs> um <laughs> Extracurricular, extracurricular, it's very fun. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the same old god we had before. Grow, grow. Okay, who is me? Oh, as doom progressed, old god's influence will slowly corrupt and change this cob seaside town. Oh, drinks cranberry juice. Oh. Oh. Erica. Old guy. Yeah, we still have Ethel too. Um. Well, can you see her name? Um. Look at how cool this looks. Wow. What's at the lighthouse? The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. Hi, Zondi. Hi, Zondi. Aw, Zondi has to head out. Love you too, Zondi. Hope you have a cool day and thanks for, thanks for being cool and hanging out and supporting. <laughs> Pog. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I have the obvious like house. Okay. Um, it says multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. Oh, one for each mystery. Cool. This is where you go after the mystery. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Okay, leave. We're gonna go home. Nothing in your mailbox. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's investigate a mystery. <laughs> um, <laughs> what we got? Horrible history of household hell. <laughs> Ew, episode of evolving eels. <laughs> Wow, report of rancid ramen. Spine chilling story of school scissors. We did that one. And a curious case of a contagious coma. The little things you can do in your house between mysteries are comfy. Oh, yeah. Hi, ah, Slime Gamer John. The eel mystery is scary. I want to check it out. Watch TV. Local, do local dentist has been found guilty of implanting dog teeth on human patients. Move is clearly unknown. That's me. Uh -huh. Okay, um, take a look through the people. You don't see anything weird. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you for the host. The shower will calm you down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature should you set it on? Um, cold water gives you extra reason. Warm water gives you a small EXP boost. And hot water gives you extra stamina. I guess I'll do... Warm water. Cool. Have you seen a short film where the guy tries to build a perfect dent and shares all the animal teeth? No. <laughs> What's it called? Well, I'm gonna head as well. The guy has to try and Okay. I, I hope you have a... I hope you do well on your test, Mingo. I hope... I hope you do well. And happy Halloween. <laughs> Bye. Okay, um... Cool. Okay, um, let's, uh, change clothes. What we got? That's a nice movie poster. Looking cool. Oh, Captain Teacher's Pet. Captain Gym Clothes. I don't know what this is. 
It's cute though. Ah, oh, it's called teeth. It's pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. Oh, the figure in the top left looks weird. This. This up here. Or this. Instead of figure you find some money. <gasps> Chris, thank you very much. Um, keep the tour on your YouTube channel. Huh. Weird. Let me write that down. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Cool. Talk. <laughs> I want to to use. Let's do. Bum, 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 bum. I like this one. That's a nice one. Cool. Tiki Christ. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Star and a mystery. We're gonna choose the eel one, I think. While returning to your home, someone bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Connor. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Connor follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, they return with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? They grin. No! <laughs> huh, staring the heck up. Heck up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yes, cooking the world. Oh, it's okay, Chris. It's okay. Um, Kona says. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself, please. Call is the best bean. Is this actually Jinji Ito? No. The costume is kinda cute. Hi, is this calm? Ah <laughs> It's Jinji and it's better, yeah. Okay, um... Uh, we have to go to... Uh, investigate the seaside location twice to complete this. Um, okay, we'll investigate it. We're going together! So cute! So cute! Old fisherman. We decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. We could talk to them and buy them around. Let's buy them around! No fisherman will refuse a free round. They tell you tales of sunken cities, inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. Minus one friends, plus five experience. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Realize you forgot to add bite marks to your neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just turned into a vampire recently. <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, okay. Um, cool. And I guess we have to go here one more time. <laughs> the waves lazily wash on the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. Plus one reason. You may be going crazy, but you can swear someone something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. <laughs> okay, well, um... I mean, uh, 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 it's good that we got the plus one then. <laughs> okay. Um, so we finished this, and now we can go to the apartments. Investigate. A reasonable outcome. <laughs> I love that little helper friend. Okay, um, you find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. 
Inside his cache, sent a note from someone who's been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Had to send up in your bedroom! Plus two funds, minus one reason. Do you have a weapon to defend yourself? No. We probably should, huh? Let's go to... Um, let's go here. Oh, there's nothing for sale here. Hello, Philly. Hello, Philly. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. We d oh, we don't have a weapon here. Bum, bum, bum. This doggo is the best, yeah. <clears throat> um, surprise discard iron. What we get? <laughs> a blue gem. It feels cold in your hands. It's important. It vibrates in your hand. What the heck is it? Um, Kana says, dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be, it must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Um, uh, this dog was lost, uh, he says, Sorry for that gift storm and Lucky's hope that wasn't too much of a bother. Oh, of course not. I love Lucky with Cola. Lucky with Cola. Lucky with Cola. Um, okay. Uh, let's go... Let's go here. I feel like we should have a weapon, right? How do we reroll? Restock would cost 3% doom. Still nothing. Is this working? It's giving the same items every time. <laughs> um, it says, um, streamer, I'm going to give you exactly two pieces of advice. And then you're on your own, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. One, stick knife on, stick knife on. I could super good. Two. Boop, the dog's newt. Aha! Uh -huh. Newt, he's been unlocked. You can boop his newt! Around Solvang, October, while well, you're here for Christmas. This has a lot of similarities to Arkham Horror. It is probably partially inspired by, by it. Rizal, why am I getting the same items every time? I don't understand. I keep on um, restocking and I'm getting the same items. It's really weird. Um, okay, um... Compass. Some of them are changing, but you can get unlucky. Oh, okay. Stick knife. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Oh, uh, let's go to his... Let's go to the school and investigate. We gotta break into his office. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. You found me. Okay. So, everyone, this is... 23 doing is that a lot. It's, um... Out of 100, and this is preserved through our five mysteries, so... Yeah. It's our friend. Okay, this is a jump scare, everyone. This is a jump scare. Please close your eyes. Please close your eyes. This is a jump scare. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, um, cool. Um, the neighbor's office. The neighbor's office at school is empty. <laughs> That's how you feel when on tips a lull in the chat. Um, you did, you did find a few jars all filled with weird kind of eel like fish. Despite your protests, Connor decides to take one jar home. He's taking one of, she's taking one of the eels home. And that wasn't even scared compared to what lies ahead of you. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we have a jar. She says. So she took it home and she says, 
Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can they sit there so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Okay, um... Okay. Uh, I'm first painting. Okay, lost two reason. Um... Uh, Connor says, I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? Oh. Oh. Are you trying to say that the video game may become more intense in a linear fashion over time? Streamer? No, no, no. Okay, uh, we have to go behind the apartment building and investigate. Oh, so Jay, we're a genius. Now I've got a best soul to write. Okay. Um, okay. Connor was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to the apartment and try to decipher the notes. That's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Oh, these are the notes. Legend from the prefecture eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Cool. Okay, investigate. Investigate. You hear a rustling on the other side of the apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. Yeah, it's this guy again. Um... Poke? Oh, it's... Concussion! He concussions me! <laughs> you wonder what a corpse is? It's all a cute No! Okay, we defeated him and got told experience. I got his baseball bat. <laughs> um, Kama says, there must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder where he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this dang jar in the trash. Got <laughs> Yeah, he died instantly. Okay, um, I feel like we should go home and rest. Cool. Got 3% in doom, but we healed a bit. Oh, we have to go to the seaside. Okay. Okay, okay. There's a military exercise makes you feel a little safer, but the guns are enough to but are guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors? Plus four percent doom, but we got some reason. Got some. We healed a little bit. We healed a little bit. Thinking about how stupid it is of Connor to try to break into your neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Connor. Where the heck are they? Okay, let's uh, let's go to school. I, I feel like something terrible may have happened to our friends. We're all alone. We have to go to school. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. Sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is open on its own. Escape. There's no way I'm risking a ghost in cold for minus two reason. Kama has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Okay. Okay. He's got little gif eels everywhere. Little gif eels. Look. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars with filled with eels flailing around relentlessly. Restlessly. I can read. What the heck is Connor? 
I bet she tried to break in and he fed her to the eels. I bet he tried to feed her to the eels. Oh, that's my friend. You run like a coward from your neighbor's place. The next morning, police officers are emptying your neighbor's place. They didn't find Connor. Where are they? And will you ever hear from your friend again? Eerie episode revolving eels ending C. Okay, um... Lost in Doom. Got 30 XP, 15% XP. Um, okay. That is, uh... The three options you had in that room. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. The old god stars click here to reveal its effect. Contaminated water! There's something wrong with tap water. It is black and oily and glistening. Smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. Hmm. I wish... I wish I had checked the rest of the room before I ended the mystery. That sucks. Um, let's go home. Oh, there's a, there's a key in our mailbox. A small key. Take the key. Uh, take a little bath. Oh no! He still didn't fix the water problem. It's blocking oil and glistening. You're not gonna wash in that. <clears throat> you survived that you fed your friend to the dark gods. Do you feel your signs calling on your back? No! No! Use bottled water? Watch TV. The TV host is going a big octopus, or at least that's what she claims, because there's way too many tentacles. <laughs> Weird. Um... Take a peep through the peek hole. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. He's over here. He's over there. Um... Peek again. Peek. He's still there. Peek, peek. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Start a new mystery. Okay. Oh, look at how it falls off. That's so cool. Um, so horrible history of household hell. Walter and report of rats and ramen. Spine chilling story of school scissors. And curious case of contagious coma. Um, let's do contagious coma. Huh. <sighs> more and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People are trying to wake the patients up. People trying to wake the patients up results with them falling into a coma themselves. The rotten ramen. Oh, we, um, we did the rotten ramen last time and we died on it. <laughs> it was too powerful. That's what you look like before you go on bed, streamer. <laughs> Me too. That's what I'm gonna look like after this stream. <laughs> they have some sort of sleepy bug. Some kind of sleepy bug. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Um... A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people? And how did this strange illness start? <clears throat> okay, so let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Um, and our... Subquest is to investigate the village location twice. Okay, let's go to the village. Village. Taking a look at the village shrine here. Unseasonal floods have closed many of the roads. You've wasted a lot of time looking for a safe path plus three doom. Gonna check it out again here. Ah. <sighs> 
You've had no idea that the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests lashing their hands to feed the deceased. You stand at the back, shocked by how grotesque it is. Suddenly, the guests turn their heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Sorry, Zola can't save you, that's too scary and spooky. So you follow the awful tradition? Fight your way out? I will try to talk them out of it. They don't take no for an answer and draw your blood. Mine is too stamina, oh no. Okay, our stamina is actually still pretty good. Um, um so we, we have solved patient zero. And we have gained an item, an important item, the dust of seeing. Look, look at that cool picture. It's a magic powder. It momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. Ah, oh, so I wonder if there's going to be an invisible enemy that's putting everybody to sleep. Ah, uh, let's, uh, let's go investigate. Let's uh, go take a look. Um. Cool. Got some rays in here. Hi. Hi, authentic lime flavor. Um, thank you very much. I hope you're having a good October 1st, too. Roar! <laughs> Roar! Um, what we got here? Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? We have to travel to downtown. We have to check out downtown. Uh, hidden cults. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Plus curse. We have a curse! My curse is brain damage! Minus two knowledge, plus ten max reason. We were, like, what? We're a little dumber, but we have way more brain HP now. We have way more brain HP now. I got an idea. We'll all in the bowl on our knocks to get some blood. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. The result occurs. No. No. You'll have to sneak into the hospital and borrow the patient zero's information. Okay, let's go to the hospital then. Let's check out the hospital and solve this mystery. Um, hi, humble savage. Yeah, I, I remember humble savage. You, uh, you made Mr. Chomp. Mr. Chomp. It's your backup account. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Gondir says, Lola is the master Jarva. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, you're adorable too. <laughs> um, uh, uh, it says, I'm taking an elevator. You get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. Hi, K37. Hi, K37. Hello. Oh, maybe it's Katsu. Katsu. Hello, Katsu. Um. Um. All their doors open. Uh, a luck chance was successful. All their doors open, revealing a hospital corridor. Resolve. You've got the name and address. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, you find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of blood remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where doctors determined the cause of death. Let's, um, let's search the cabinet. We got an item. Perception check success. Oh, can't I level up? Okay, we got an item. We got a sewing ki kit. A sewing kit. Um, okay, can't, okay, so I'm gonna level up now. Oh, we need five more. Five more. Okay, we're close. Cool. Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. Okay, I feel like this might be the ending to this mystery. Okay, we're gonna go to his house and search it. 
The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. We don't have a map. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you, plus to doom. Get lost. Yeah, we got lost. Doom! Okay, Patient Zero dabbled in magic. We found a journal. Describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems he tried to contact a being from the dream robs. Ha, Udon. Very spooky. Oh, yeah, it's my costume. Do you like it? Cool. Okay. Um. So, um. So he tried to contact a being from the dream world. He was trying to summon them. Okay, okay, okay. A sudden growl coming from behind a corner makes you stop. Whoa! It's a ghoul! It's a ghoul! She damages our stamina. Uh, she has a 20 power. Uh, 21 HP. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to attack with my steak knife. My steak knife. Hey, we do a lot of damage. You got enough experience to level up. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I mean, I guess Dax is what we're using, right? Dax is kind of... I feel like we should put it into Dax. Choose one perk and one star upgrade. One perk and one star upgrade. Oh, we can take Outdoorsman, Hot Bath, or Running Shoes. Outdoorsman is block. Bath? Hot Bath is improved resting at home. And Running Shoes are smaller doom penalty for running from combat. Oh, hi, Christine. This is my Halloween costume. It's for trick or treating. Hi, Christine. Well, is isn't a coward. Yeah, you're right, Red Melody. You're right. Uh, I, f I feel like a uh, hot bath probably is what we, what we want to do. Um, so a hot bath and dexterity. Cool. Um, that's always true for now. <laughs> Job search got you done in the dumpster. You're too cute. Thank you very much, Christine. Thank you, thank you very, thank you very much, Christine. Lord. <laughs> okay, and oh, we can we choose to increase one of these instead? Ah, oh. interesting. Can I look at my stat sheet again? Um. So how does um, how does the stick knife work? Oh, I can't check this during the level up screen. Okay, um, I wish I could see what each stat does, um, but other than that, um, Shimmer, so hold up, would you like, would you like the prevention of a disappointing mistake that just makes you regret your forgetfulness? Sure, yes, yes, please. Um, the knife was doxxed, Christine says, you don't scare me. <laughs> um, um. Lar. <laughs> um, your bath is so sort of spooky black goo. Um, so does it never go away? Is it like just a random thing that can happen? And, cause like I I remembered that, but I was like, okay, maybe it always happens after the first mystery and then it goes away. Um, but if it if it doesn't go away, then. I don't really know. Um, I mean, other than that, I could take outdoorsman. Oh, it totals your bath forever. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I had no idea about that. Okay. Um, cool, cool. Okay, resolve combat. The quarantine wing is guarded closely. 
You must find a way to sneak through. Can you whip your hair like Goki? Um... Hello? If I... If I whip my head too much, I get a headache. I can't do that. Um... Force you to find other avenues for healing, depending on how early it can happen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. Do Goki's eye thing. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see, uh, we have to inv we have to investigate. We have to investigate. We have to sneak into the quarantine wing. Hello, Flame. Oh yeah, the hood woman attacks somebody and we think it's us. We've just failed a dox check. That's our best start. Oh man. The hood woman disappears behind the corner. Two percent doom. Okay, there it is. Let's hope you find an answer here. We're in the quarantine room. We have we found the person who tried to summon a ghost from the demon realm. An old god from the dream world. You've managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. I will use the dust of seeing. Oh, that's so cool! There's a wiggly wiggler! Ah! Follow the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling above one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tentacle. As you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. Form of ceiling cat, yes. <laughs> Prepare myself. The creature causing the contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Oh, that looks cool. He's got the magic sigil on his face, too. It's time. Thank you for the three dollars, dollar bill. It says, here's for a CPU, God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dollar Bell. Park. <laughs> hope, I hope you have a cool day. And please enjoy the stream. Roar! <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack at him with my steak knife here. Where do you see how much HP it has? 37. It has 37. He melted my memories! The Dream Devourer melted my memories! Okay. 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 Okay, we defeated him. Achievement unlocked. 20 experience! The creature's severed body falls on the floor and starts melting slowly. The remaining part slivers back onto the now closing hole in the ceiling. You've managed to catch a glimpse of the other side. The other side makes you fall on your knees. It wasn't its body that you've managed to cut off. It was just a finger. Shaken. You sneak out from from the hospital. One thing is certain, though. It's the end of this weird illness. Curious case of a contagious coma ending, A. Eh? The hospital is now safe. Plus 30% EXP, 15 ex EXP, minus 30 doom. Um, um, okay, cool. Very nice, thank you very much. How am I gonna heal? How am I gonna heal? I guess I'll have to go take a nap. The old god stirs. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. We're cut off from the outside world. It must be the real mass failure. And the town status is 
A feeling of paranoia and almost discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As Doom progresses, Old God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. Seems pretty tricky as a rival five. I think it takes knowledge of where where um, certain events are and like how certain um, like random encounters work, um, and then you can sort of plan for them. It took you into a bit. Uh, it took you a bit to get into the struggle of it all. You should get back into it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um. Hmm. So this is the old god who is coming back. Uh, he fell to the devouring flame. And, um, our doom ends at 46. If it gets to 100, he comes back and destroys everything. You can go to the pharmacy and the hospital to heal a bit. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I will go home. There's another key in the mailbox. Tick. Back in your home, you think of your next move. Use bottled water. Um... Watch TV. You can't get any signal from the outside world. Let's go, go on. Um, you usually put that common mystery a little later in your route so you can pump up your combat skills a bit more for that boss. That makes sense. Looking for the people. He's over here now! What's that? Probably just my imagination. You don't see anything weird. Oh, that's so spooky. That's so spooky. Um. Okay, I, I feel like I should have rest, right? I should probably rest. I should have snooze. Okay, we finished this one and this one. We can do. Rat, rat, and reply of a rancid ramen. We can try it again. We failed it last time. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch off the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this woman so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods? You can instantly finish this optional quest. Yeah, we can. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That result says, Alright, sir, so I've had fun. I played for you. I'll just have to catch the vlog. Enjoy the spookings. Thank you very much, Rizal. Uh, thank you for being a good friend and good night, Ritzel. Pog, you are Pog. You are Pog. <laughs> Bye, Ritzel. Uh, okay. Um, watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food cook has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Okay, um, what kind of items do we have? What kind of items do we have? Burnt notes. And a baseball bat. Yeah, so we're going to discard these. I'm going to discard... Oh, I can't discard it. I can discard this one. I can't just, I can't just cut the other one. Okay, cool. Um, hospital. Where's the hospital? I am sorry. I can't go to the pharmacy. I can rest at home. Cause my, my health is very low. <laughs> and that is not good. Rest. for resting at home here. And rest again. Cool. And we're gonna rest again. 
Okay, Pog. Pog. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go to the um, apartment and investigate. <laughs> Next move, as you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. This shouldn't happen if, um, if the water is unusable and black and glistening, like from the other random event. Inconsistency! Streamer! Streamer! Okay, uh, we're gonna take a... a hot bath. It's so inviting, you've spent an extra hour in it! One percent doom! <laughs> okay, you can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. You never see them enter nor leave. Cool. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head starts blurred blood. Yeah, let's check it out. Knowledge check. You didn't, we failed. Um, the smell of blood makes you weak. Minus one stamina. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. Okay. You have three knowledge. Yeah, we're a dummy. I'm a mess brain. When on the soggy vegan brain streamers out again. My brain is soggy and made of beans. <sighs> oh, streamer. Oh, it's fine. Blood showers are very exfoliating. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. Okay, um... Cool. Cool. Um... Uh, um... A he uh, a heat wave continues with record temperatures. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. Minus two stamina. Seems like you're not the only one around to try the ramen yourself. You stand in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears. And you're stunned. Investigate again. How do you know? Have you ever had one? No. No. Have you? Have you? Hi, Sly Noble. Hello. Hope you're having a good day. Var. <laughs> this is my Halloween costume. Do you what? Do you uh, do you all like it? Do you all like it? <laughs> Um, uh, uh, not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Whoa! Flustered corpse, yuck! He's got a thingy face. Why can't I attack him? Why, why can't I attack him? Uh, is he too cool? He's a ghost! He's a ghost! I can't attack him because he's a ghost! Can I, can I use a spiritual action? Um... Let's see, um... Suffer the ties to our world with a steak knife. <laughs> Deals two damage. <laughs> How'd you trip on him? That's a very good question. Can I just run? Cause we don't do like any damage to him. We have an offering. Cost one fund. Deals four damage. That's, I mean... I feel like that's not really helpful. Run away! For doom penalty. Cause he, he could... He could kill us. Okay, we ran away. And took four doom penalty. So we have 65% doom. We're probably not going to complete the mystery in time. Um... You can run away from anything except bosses. Um... 
Lily Potter and the Fan Mountain Inspire. Yeah, Jackie Lily. Oh, and Jackie Lily. Roar! <laughs> it's me, Jackie Lily. Hope you guys are enjoying me. Uh, enjoying the story time, by the way. It's kind of fun reading it to you. So, um, it's, uh, it's kind of pog. Kind of pog, kind of pog. <laughs> um, let's see. Slurpy lemon bug. <laughs> cool. It's very fun. Yeah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Um, so let's, uh, I guess we have to investigate downtown here. I don't know. I want to heal more. But we don't have time. We have so much doom. You've encountered 410 billion. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It seems like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun. <laughs> Minus three weeks in! No, we got minus three weeks in. We have a police revolver. I'm not sure if this is actually good. <laughs> Three diamonds, but the speed is 80. Oh, it is faster. And the chance to hit is better too. Does it use ammo? You need to use cool, cool ammunition. New Mountain Blue N60 design in the 60s. <laughs> okay. So I use this. Well, what's that to see? It uses perception. Our perception is pretty high. Um, it's very fun. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm glad I caught the head crab. <laughs> It uses ammo to deal massive damage, but you have limited bolts. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Okay. Police station. Um, friends and ends, costume to enter. Okay, okay. Let's, um, let's, let's investigate then. Investigate downtown. Okay. Just another random event, plus their doom and 10 experience, so our doom is at 67 now. It's finally our turn to order in the ramen shop. One ramen, please. The honest grin widens. Um, I'm going to discard the police revolver. Okay, and we're going to investigate again here. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Fantastic! <laughs> it took uh, one reason damage here. Okay, the red ball is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to stay on the floor. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work! Obsessed man. You hold on to your steak knife, preparing for combat. Hi, Quirk Glass. Hi, Quirk Glass. How are you doing today? Hi. How? This is my Halloween costume. Do you... Do you... Do you all... Do you like it? <laughs> do you all think it's kind of... Kind of pog. Kind of pog. He's got special eyes. He sure does. <laughs> you love this game? I can see why. Um, I was a little not unsure on how it worked at first, but it's, it's kind of cool. It is very much like a board game. Um, and it has 
it has like a roguelike kind of feeling. And I, I like how it's like semi-procedural, which is nifty. Um, okay, um, gonna swing on in here. We missed every single attack. We missed every single attack. You'll die at the beginning of your next encounter. We're, we're so dead. We're so dead. Um, how can I heal? How do you heal? Um... How can I gain stamina? I gain one stamina cost two reason. Pray! Pray! No, I'm super dead! <laughs> it's, I'm super dead! Um... You can't heal unless you have an iron water spell. Okay, well, we begin, but we're dead. <laughs> um, super death. Yeah, you can heal. Um, you can spend two of one of the health to regain one of the other. Um, and unfortunately, that didn't help us. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind is snapped. And you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you are insane. That no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made those horrors disappear. You've perished. <laughs> you can rest in your home too. Um, it costs doom. And we were very, very high on... The do do doom list. We're high on the very high doom list. Uh, hi cactus room. Whoa, it's cactus room. Give him a VIP. Give give him a VIP. Give VIP cactus room. One of my favorite streamers. He's so cool. Why? You like my you like my things. <sighs> yeah. I'm a I'm a vampire. You have VIP now. Uh, everybody should check out Cactus Room. He's really cool. Cactus Room. Yeah. Pog. <laughs> he plays really good in music. And he's my friend. I think he's epic. You also have a sneaky icon. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> it's so sneaky. <laughs> um, um, Joshua says, hello, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. Just got my Halloween costume on and playing a little spooky game. Um, another has gained the chaos somewhere on <laughs> here. Um, okay, um, let's see. Um, oh, wow, you got, you got 13 lemons in a cup. Thank you very much, Cactus Room, for the four months. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoy the channel. I enjoy your channel very much. It's 6.30 hour done. What I miss? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what you missed. Um, how about I know? They say, Lily. Yes. Yeah, so this game is cool because it's like a semi-procedural um, like horror, spooky, spooky, roguelike. Oh, this is just my Halloween costume. This is just, this is just my Halloween costume. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Uh, you gonna enjoy the memes so you work mostly? Yeah, I, I work in your chat a lot too. I, um, I listen to your vods like, I, 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 I like, I like your channel. <laughs> okay, Pog, Pog. Um, should we, should we try it again? It's a love letter to Junji Ito and I love crack this game. Uh, I like that you can randomize how it looks too. It's pretty, pretty nifty. 
Um, ooh, that looks cool. That looks cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that one's hard to look at. <laughs> Very difficult to look at that one. Um, you've seen the costume and you fell asleep after you started this game. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, this game is cool because it's like, it's like a storytelling, like, oh, spooky story, storytelling experience. Oh, let's do an extracurricular. Um, something strange is happening in our town. Loop figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. <laughs> the rapid technological progress of a modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Old gods, malicious elder spirits who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and other realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Alexandria 48 BC. Okay, um, we have gotten the same old god every time. Every time. It's evolved to the devouring flame. Um, so everybody deals extra damage. Um, yeah, so basically the way this game works is you have a character and you have stamina and reason. And these are like two separate health bars. And if either one of them runs out, you die. Um, like your body can die or your mind can die. And you have all of these other stats that, um, they uh, determine what happens in the random encounters. And there's also combat, which is kind of interesting. It is a little bit like Arkham Horror. If you have played that, um, hi, Ryan Boy. Hi, Ryan Boy. Okay, uh, let's go to, um, let's, let's go home. Nothing in the mailbox. Can I check all our mystery here? What we got? Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them. We gotta check it out. We've gotta check out our mystery. Okay, we've got a far out fable of a fear festival. A chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. The vicious verses of a violent vigil. A bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Or the eerie episode of Evolving Eos. Eos! We did this one before, it's really funny and easy. You're back, time to stop procrastinating, so you're gonna work for a bit. Okay, good. Um, good luck doing the stuff you need to do, little boy. And thank you for the work. Thank you very much for the work. Well, it's on. Though it sounds like a little kid, but when she reviews games, she sounds intelligent to me. Wow! Thank you. Thank you. Um... Sledug says... Oh! 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 Hey! 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 La 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 Okay, um... Let's do the eel one again. I wanna get the alternate ending. I wanna get the alternate ending on the eel episode. Eel <laughs> <Little> time. <laughs> The episode of Evolving Eos. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. There you go. You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. Kana. That weird dude is back. You know the one who studied space. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Are you curious what we're best to eat by this time? She grins. Are you best to eat for wearing this bag is back? 
Well, this man is back. Come on. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some dogs inside his apartment. <laughs> I wonder what weird things did he find this time. Will you check it out? You will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself, please. Okay. Let's, uh, we gotta go investigate. We gotta... Investigate Seaside. It's me and Connor. The ocean is hungry! You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. Oh no! Okay. Um... Let's see. Um... So, uh, can we buy an item? Oh, we have a ritual dagger! Is this a dex weapon? Is this a dex weapon? Um... Hmm... You got a weapon? Talk! <laughs> I wanna make sure it's like for the right stat though. Oh, it's a knowledge. It's a knowledge weapon. My knowledge is only five. <laughs> um, let's go to the shop. My goodness, we're amazing voice acting. We might have to start calling Lily the server with 100 voices. Um, okay, let's go to, um... Let's go to, uh, let's go to the shop. Big brain time. How's your cunning in my brain? Hope you're having a good day. Okay, I'm going to reroll here with the steak knife. Equip the steak knife. Cool. And go go to apartments and investigate. We have to investigate the creepy jars. We have to we have to investigate the creepy jars. You found an envelope laying on your pillow. It's a note from someone who has been watching you and they left you money and said they'll meet you soon and they're creepy. Oh, Connor. Dude's working at school, right? We keep breaking to his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he came back and his class has begun next week. Well, that is a good point, Connor. That is a very good point. Let's, let's go to the school. Let's go to the school. Oh, ha ha, I'm stuck. I'm skinny, skin. Oh, hello, hello. Hello there. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Connor decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you... <laughs> don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly? Staring at this creepy creature! <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, we have to investigate the apartments again. Um, I thought this is horror, but the art is pretty cute. Yeah. It is pretty cute. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you were in there. Um, let's call the police. Oh no, he drew a weird symbol and blood on my front door. Plus 3% doom. Plus 3% doom. Oh, Connor says, I've seen him burning some notes <laughs> behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? Is this eel even alive? The scariest thing in this game was your neighbor's choice of fashion. <laughs> it was the 80s. It's set in the 80s. You are. 
Okay, I'll go here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check it out. We found a pile of letters in our mailbox. Check them later. Last one's Domina. Okay. Colin was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to the apartment and try to decipher the notes. That's so weird. Your neighbor really wasn't the eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. <laughs> okay, and we can look at this, and it says... Legend from the blank prefecture eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. How spooky, how spooky, how spooky. Okay, um, investigate. Do we end up going to the ocean? Um, yeah, we do. Okay, cool. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to burst into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder why he's hiding in there. You shoved on committally. You just wish you could throw that dang jar in the trash. Jenkin Pell's stones and the other Stevie only wants to choke a dry throat stain. Stevie only wants to choke a dry throat stain. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to the seaside here. Small child, try breaking it to the suit's apartment. Yeah, very much. Ah, uh, suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Um, our king grasp. Lost two stamina. Unfortunate. Um. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. Okay, we got the bonus objective. Oh, it looks too spooky. Hi, Basie Frog. You like my costume? You want to go trick-or-treating? Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, so you says, wait, that's not right. The right amount. What is that? Good question. <laughs> Roar! 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 <laughs> it's the Uku! <laughs> it's the Uku from Twilight Princess! Okay, let's go over here. And... Uh, investigate the school. We spent a whole day waiting for Connor. Where is he? Some kind of cube? Whoa! There was a hole here. That's a Silent Hill reference. Got a little Silent Hill reference. Hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Light the candles. <laughs> Whoa! The moment you light the remaining candle, the ground under the sigil collapses, revealing an impossibly deep hole. Its walls are carved into a spiral shape, giving it the illusion of movement. Because it's an illusion, right? Minus four reason, plus twenty experience. Okay, our reason is getting kind of low here. Um, Theodore says, you see a brown square full of pixels? Huh. Um, the cuckoos are basically chickens. These things are real chicken people with mama editions. Mama editions. Okay, um, Connor has been missing since yesterday. We gotta check out the neighbor's apartment itself. Okay, I'll check it out. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked when you see countless jaws filled with eels flailing around restlessly. What the heck is Connor? 
Okay, we left, we escaped last time. We have to check the bathroom or the bedroom. Let's check the bathroom. Ugh! A swollen body of her neighbor is rotting away inside putrid, murky water. Both his eyes are missing with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Minus one reason, minus one stamina. I like that the stamina cost from seeing my neighbor dead is equal to looking at the ocean and being like, I think something's watching me. Um, okay, uh, oh, what's this? Can I pick this up? No. No. Oh, and then she's in the bedroom. You finally found Kana. Uh, I, I, I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped down the blood. Uh, this is scary. This is gross and scary. Um, when his eye burst, uh, he slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. Ugh. Uh, it says we must go to a hospital or we must puncture her eye now. Uh, uh, no! No! Um, oh, this is the big one. <laughs> um, uh, um... I feel like if we wait, she'll just like die or something. Huh? Yeah, I think we have to do this. Ah! No! <laughs> no! 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 Ah, yuck, Ronnie's. Who is going to be that eel? No! Uh, Cookie thinks it's so funny. Okay. Uh, yuck. Uh, uh, eels. Eels. Little baby eels. Uh, pass that for you. I'll do it. No. Shocked you see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. I think those are called worms if they're tiny little baby eels. I don't know. I don't know. Will she even survive this blood loss? Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you rushed to the hospital with Connor. Nice one, Stamina. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, with getting a lot of attention from horrified people, your friend is immediately Taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse in a chair in the waiting area. What could I do if I had another option? Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You goggly open your eyes to see your friend. Kama is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore. Eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon, but thank you for saving my life. Pog, we saved her! We saved her! You witnessed the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire life, and it makes you want to disappear. My son's stamina. We got our friend back now. Yeah, we got our friends. A new ally has joined you, Kana. She's back! Friend saved. You still process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in an eye? Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels, ending A. Cool. Go ahead. No. 
Theodore didn't like looking at that. I don't blame you, I don't blame you. I'm Master equals one Pepe D. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we, we're gone. And now we have a friend, Kana. Yeah, now we have a friend, Kana. Oh, she's happy. Huh, she's ready for adventure. She's a friendly neighbor and important. <laughs> Almost got a level up too. Very cool. Our doom is only 18%. We got a rest. We got a rest. Uh, let's go back home. The old god stars. Whole time is cut off from from radio contact. You can get more followers. Oh yeah, um, I wanna have like a whole party of guys and we can fight the old gods together with our steak knives. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. A small key in our mailbox. Take a little bath. Take a little bath. Let's uh, let's get some hot water. Take a little peep. You don't say anything weird. Clack, clack, clack. <laughs> school. We're doing the school. Ball of Fable of the Festival. Chilling Chronicle of Eclipse and Cape. Cape. <laughs> Cape. Um, have a vicious versus a violent vigil. Let's try that one. Ooh. Mmm, crimson cake, yeah, and red velvet cake, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want with you? Oh, uh, we regret to inform you that the passing of your, our clients and your grand uncle. His sooner will, will, will be precedented with an overnight vigil as per the client's request. <laughs> There's an address and the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst that could happen? Just watch what they provide. Okay. <laughs> Arrival at the mansion. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times. But where is everybody? You're serious, this is hilarious. Hmm. <laughs> Explore mansion. We'll unlock new locations and progress this mystery. Ooh, cool. I love that we have Kana here. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the, stitched the unsuspecting guests together. What? <laughs> her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Check out the summer machine. Ah! Perception check success. On the sewing machine, you spot a strange engraving. When you get closer to investigate, your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge. We got a spell! We got magic! What's my magic? What? You can't just tease me like this. What's my magic? <laughs> I have a spell. Spells. Absorb. Combat offensive. Deals two damage. Gain two stamina. But it costs for a reason. Uh, that sounds kind of bad. That sounds kind of bad. It's the reamer. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. It takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. Um, who's that? Hi. 
Hi, hi, hi. Um, young woman, wrinkles her nose when she notices you. You can swear you've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. And if you want to pose, but. Her spells here were one touch chat with your cuteness and not all her hearts. Aww. Thanks, God, dear. Thanks, God, dear. I gotta think of a voice for a, for a young for a young woman. <sighs> um, I already did my nerd voice. I already did my lawyer voice. <laughs> I don't have any other voices. <laughs> um, if you if you want. <laughs> Because I'm like the Kool-Aid man. If you if you want to put a stare, <laughs> she doesn't look that young to you. And she looks pretty young to me. Uh, uh, um, if, if if you want to pay respects to that old creep, if you oh she's like mean. Okay, if she's mean, I can give her a mean voice then. <laughs> if you want to pay respects to that old creep. Follow the corridor down to the right. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> it's very ungallant, dear. All creepy. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus two percent doom. That's a that's a cool event. That's pretty cool. Yuck! Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie here. What was the correct balance call for? Maybe the other guests are not. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. Who's that? You didn't get the letter? Here, take mine. <laughs> oh, we got a vigil pamphlet. What's it say? Oh, you have to clap, clap, bow, clap. Oh, it depends on the time, though. Weird. Weird. So it reverses. Um, it depends on what the time is and it reverses, so... It's 10 p.m. So at 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 12 a.m. I have to bow, bow, clap, bow. Wait, clap, 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 bow, clap, 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 bow, clap. Is it still 10 p.m.? Clap, clap, bow, clap, clap, clap. You think you got through all right? Well, is he moving? He doesn't seem very dead. <laughs> he, uh, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not dead. <laughs> okay, um... Inspect his face. <laughs> you... There's a weird symbol tattooed on man's foot. You copy it into a pamphlet. Nah, he's dead AF, fam. <laughs> no! He's not. Okay, so at midnight I have to come back here and do the reverse. Bow, bow, clap, bow. Okay, um... I mean, I guess so. Okay. Uh, so this is the young woman. The scar <laughs> is still Tomura. Scarred thug. He's not dead, he's just stinky. He, you had to clap his feet, not your hands. Oh no, I messed it up. A muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. Surumara nervously scratches his scar. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, ex explore mansion! <laughs> Reading room. One of the previous owners of the mansion like to read. Dusty tones reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books? Hmm. <laughs> Start with the shelves. 
We got our spell. Perception checks success. The books are covered with a thick layer of dust. However, you notice that one tome must have been placed here recently. From it, you learn about distant worlds and bizarre rituals. I went a little bit bonkers, but I gained some magic. Uh, what we got? What we got? What spell? Void. Ignore the current event and instantly investigate a random other world location. One time use only. It costs three reason. Oh, hi, Re Regorella. Hello. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna use this because it would take me to four, for a reason, and if we get down to four reason, I'm pretty sure we're just going to get killed by literally anything, so, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna leave this, uh, although I can forget the spell and gain a reason, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it, um, Hi, cough syrup. Hi, cough syrup. Spoopy, thank you very much. <laughs> it's, it's my costume. Um, okay. So let's, uh, light up the fireplace. What time am I supposed to do that? Light up the fireplace at 11 p.m. What time is it? 11 p.m. Light up the fireplace. Perception check thing of you couldn't find any fireworks. Minus one stamina. What has that cost me stamina? <laughs> what has that cost me stamina? <sighs> Why am I responsible for all of this stuff? Um, okay. Oh, what else is in here? What do we have to do? Okay, at 12 we have to pray over the body. Um. Uh, storage room? You still are instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself. Why is a vigil held in a place like this? This is a scary haunted place. This is a scary haunted place. Um, just, uh, I don't want to check the wardrobe. I don't want to check the wardrobe. Are you kidding me? I don't want to check the wardrobe. <laughs> It's gonna be a classic goblin, obviously. I don't wanna go there. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it. You found inside the lodge, you found the meat cleaver. Oh, okay. Huh? It's a one handed strength weapon. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. Uh, we don't need it. Um, because we are, we are dex oriented, and we already have a dex weapon, um, but I will solve this later. Um, you wandered around looking for firewood and got tired. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, um, you know, totally normal place to leave a meat cleaver in the closet. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, um... Go back to the corridor. Okay, and um, we can explore again. You look up so you can type without being too slow. Hi, Squiddy. Hi, Squiddy. How are you doing today? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Uh, eyes in the dark. You feel washed. Oh, thank you for the follow, girl. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the channel. Talk, talk. Talk, talk, talk. You retreat. Lost two reason. I think we should turn in our spells. Yeah, let's turn in our spells because we're gonna die. Um, okay, forget these spells and gain some reason. Um, um, do you call it on her go? Yeah. I'm scary. <laughs> You slept for around 16 hours. 16 hours? But I thought you wanted to sleep like two hours ago. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> um, 
It says, uh, it's midnight, you should go and pray. Okay, we have to, uh... Okay, we have to go back to the body, and because it's midnight, we have to do bow, bow, clap, bow. Okay, bow, bow, clap, bow. Go to the master bedroom. He's gone! He's gone! <laughs> he slept 14 hours before the heart. Oh, you're very sleepy. Very sleepy. Well, I hope you feel more rested now. Hope you're feeling a little better. <laughs> um, yeah, the body is missing. That's uh, a little scary. Where is everybody? <laughs> oh no. The music uh, cue was very good. This is unsettling. It seems that someone has removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. There's definitely somebody there. Oh, that's a plant. It's a plant. <laughs> okay, so everybody has disappeared, including the dead body. Uh, is this a horror game? Yes. This is a horror game. This is a horror game. Um... Explore mansion. Investigate the overgrown garden. Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you try to reach and grab one, they jump off and scatter around the room giggling. <laughs> <laughs> the spookiest thing is a vampire. Roar! 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 Oh, they're weird. Okay, huh? Okay, he damages my reason. Okay, I, I um... Uh, I guess I should just try to attack with the steak knife then. We missed all of our attacks! We missed all of our attacks! Look who leveled up. Um, give me some reason. Give me some reason. Reason. Oh, you get four of them! That's so cool! You are strongly incentivized to get stamina or reason then. Wow. Um. And then from the perks, we can do folklore studies, it's knowledge, um, which is just, just the smaller doom penalty, fast swimmer, and it's faster offensive actions. Um, let's do fast swimmer. And the reason is you. The reason is you. The reason is you. The reason is you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> cool. Um, level up. Wait. Oh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> um, you, okay, we found the guest. They are shaken but otherwise safe. You both decide to get the heck out of this place, but the door is gone. Let me check my, uh, let me check my little, uh, I mean, everything is going to frick, but let me check my little guide here. Bring an envelope found in the study. Cover the mirror in the storage room. This is weird! Okay, at 2 a.m. Burn an envelope found in the study. Okay, let's go to the study. Okay, um... I can't... I can't find an envelope. Where is it? Where would it be? Um... I... I guess let's explore. Who stole the door? <laughs> Who stole the door? Um... The whole building begins to shake as you enter this room. Suddenly a stone pillar just bursts through the floor where you just stood seconds ago. 
Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Show you the symbols. Mars to reason, oh man. They shift and change right before your eyes. Does he escape there and his blood oozes from your nose? Blood is oozing from my nose. Yeah, I can't, I can't find that um, envelope even though I want to burn it. Um, that's okay, I guess. Um, it is also weird, um, it is weird that the, um, the guest, uh, doesn't change their dialogue after, like, after, um, after everybody goes missing and they're like, they come back to you and they're shaking, but she's still, like, acting as if I just arrived. It's kind of cringe. Oh no, did she do something different with your teeth? It's my Halloween costume. It's my Halloween costume. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> yeah. Uh, news ooze, not news ooze. Yeah. It's, I'm afraid so. It's news ooze. Um, you find a heavy tome wrapped in moth eaten black velvet in an old blocked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrapping, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. It's a cursed grimoire. I feel like if we read it, we're gonna lose reason. Right? It's gonna make us go bonkers. It's gonna make us bonkers. Bonkers, so it keeps repeating. <laughs> I'm gonna get some tea, be we don't die in the match, and I'll try my best. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Grabbing the book, you cut yourself on a rusty nail driven through the cover. <laughs> of course. Plus injury. What we have, what we have. What's our injury? Fractured ribs. Minus one dex. That is very bad. Cause we are, we were dex oriented. Hmm. Okay, resolve. Oh, what's my item? What is this? Oh, you stumble upon Sodomora, furiously scratching his scar. With each motion, he gets a little deeper. With each motion, more blue appears. Goki says, <laughs> "That was cheap. I agree. Hold on. <laughs> Got to go your ribs. New technique. Did you just pick up a book and fracture your ribs on a rusty nail? Yes. And it sucks because I tried to choose like." The least, the least likely to be like, oh, you, you're gonna get hurt somehow. Like, I didn't read the book of crazy spells. I didn't burn the book of magic, whatever. I, like, just picked it up and I broke my ribs. <laughs> I broke my ribs. <laughs> Normally, you can only carry four items with you check the stars. It's really big now. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I will, I will do this. Um, he takes a step towards us. Oh, it's added to the storage. Okay, okay. Ah, he opened his scar and there's a people inside, kind of. He says the itching won't stop. Okay. Um, we found a new item, Fatal Flora. 13 HP, uh, it's stabby time. <laughs> Defeated, <laughs> cool. Um, I was very spooky today, should I be afraid? Yeah, and give me all your candy. Give me all your candy. Give me all your candy. Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> um, okay, we'll be done. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. We're on another planet! <laughs> okay, uh, um... Okay, I have some questions. I have some questions. Um... 
Uh, okay, 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 take all my candy, okay. Big smiley at the window. Whoa! Hi. <laughs> Hi, fuzzy dice. It's what you get for making a same decision, and it's true. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. So I could sacrifice the guest. I, I don't... I mean, like, I don't really want... to do that. <laughs> um... Where are you? Oh, instead of saying you are here, it says, where are you? That's funny. Explore mansion. I can't. So I have to sacrifice. I have no choice but to sacrifice. The guest. Um, okay. An unseen force leads your hands. You reach for a knife and stab a surprise guest. I mean, I didn't want to, but... <laughs> Okay, um, um, conclude the ritual. Okay, wait, where is all I'm on the pamphlet? Oh, like, did this happen because I couldn't complete the other, the other, um, tasks in time? Well, I was an imposter all along. I saw her use vents. I saw her go in the vents. Oh. Death cheated. The price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the white grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize a tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle! With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try and keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. Your death tower must have been the same. To die and to survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death, disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. Welcome back, Squid. Welcome back. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth. And do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Vicious version of a violent vigil. Ending C. Um, okay, so... I think we got the bad ending for that because we didn't... We didn't follow the, uh, the guide correctly. Um, but I, I tried to. I couldn't, I couldn't find the, um, the envelope in the study. I couldn't find it anywhere. Um... The old god stirs. Winds of plague. A weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Let's go home. There's a small key inside our mailbox. Can we have spooky lemon well, all the time? Lemon things are so good. Well, you get to have me for a whole month. This is how I get my candy for the whole year. It's the perfect scheme. But well, mom, this scheme isn't very scary. I was expecting horror. It's called World of Horror. It, it's called World of Horror. Back in your homey. Uh, okay, um, let's take a bath. And look at my stats. Oh, I need reason, so let's take a cold bath. Bah, bah. 
No TV. No TV. I apologize. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. Well, not it's it's well of horror, not well of scary. See, it's scary. Ooh, personal hygiene. <laughs> uh, um, but um, no, I I agree with you. But, but we want it to be scarier. Um, let's see. Um, oh, access storage. We have Fatal Flora. What does this mean? Oh, it's a book! It's a botany book. Deals 8 damage to plant enemies. Adds new status. Guide to toxic flowers. Uh, let's put these in storage. Can I put this back? Why can't I put this in storage? Um... Ah, uh, okay, I bet I can only do it when I get more items. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay, um, so uh, let's take a little peek at this little guy out here. Probably just my imagination. Um, starting new mystery, boys. Starting new mystery, what we got? Okay, we did this one, and this one. We have Blade Brief of Becky, Beckoning Bulletin, Chilling Chronicle of the Crimson Keep, and Fallout Fable of the Fear Festival. Let's do a uh, Chilling Chronicle. Where is the spooky atmosphere? Where's the jump scares? Where's the impending doom? Where's Molly Chilling? Chilling Chronicle of the Crimson Keep. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet a common toll. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned, it, banned the game, but that only made it more popular. <laughs> oh, come on, tell me must be stopped before another kid is killed. Okay, we gotta stop him. We gotta stop him. Moe chan gonna chop you. No! I don't like Moe chan uh, One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses, and he intends to complete the dangerous dare. We gotta stop him. We can't. Okay, we have to gather gossip about the current mystery. How do we do that? Uh, item storage, shop for items. Oh, let's, uh, do we have to rest? Yeah, let's rest, let's rest. Rest. Okay, we got two stamina and two reason. Cool. Um, let's go to the school and investigate. Zakamanto. He um we will find more. We have to investigate the mystery. Um he if you go to the abandoned school restroom, he'll kill you though. Suddenly everything slows to a crawl. Time warper. <laughs> Some of the random encounters are like they seem more like um things that you would want to investigate than the actual investigation. <laughs> Like, act, like an actual ghost and you're like, sorry, I have to find out why this ramen is so good. <laughs> okay, um... You've reported it to your principal who promises he will take care of it. With your friend safe for now, maybe you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library make mention of Akamanto. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the library. Let's go to the library. Very investigate. Uh, let's uh, let's escape. Plus two reason. You get reason from this. That's so cool. Usually you lose it. <laughs> Her to me and Jen says, "I tried this game a while ago and quite quite liked it. What are your thoughts on it so far?" I'm a big fan of the Lovecraftian genre. I I do like it. I think it's uh. 
I like how it's like kind of procedural and kind of like storytelling. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think it has some problems. Um, like there are inconsistencies with uh, some of the random events. And, um, but yeah, it's fun. Um, no more time. I agree. And also the UI is really weird. <laughs> But you can get used to it really easily. Um, it's very poggers. It's very poggers. Apparently, all of the missing girls were members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Checking out the school's pool area would be a good idea. Okay, let's go there. Uh. With the trail going cold, it may be time for another approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Study issues of local newspapers. Minus 3% we have got some experience. Cool. Pass the knowledge check. Sockers love pools! They do. It's their favorite. They think it's Pog. Let's level up. Reason. And we can take all the airship as charisma. Quick thinking as Dax. We can fix our broken ribs by by thinking quickly. Quick studies, yeah, we're gonna take quick thinking here. Cool. <laughs> Cookie thinks that's so funny. Cookie thinks that's so funny. <laughs> I broke my rib with a nail. <laughs> Hmm. It says, one of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe the doctor still works at the hospital and can share some information. Okay, but first we have to go to the schoolyard. And I'm gonna try to get some gossip about this because it's for a sub-quest. It's for a little sub-quest. Um... Well, he's a cute boy, so I can't, I can't talk to him. Hey, Lola, let's talk. Oh, you can ask people to join you. That's so cool. Share a creepy story. Forced to help you. You can't fix your ribs at the hospital. Ah. Um, how do I, how do I get info? Observe. Kohaku is staring at the clouds. They look like heads. They look nervous. <laughs> Okay, um, where is gossip? How did you on your English exam? Good. Have you heard about this computer program that... I have to talk to the cute boy. <gasps> when Akamanto asks what paper do you want, you must refuse anything. Okay, cool. Do you want to join me? I mean, like, do you maybe like want to, um, <laughs> you want to join me? It sounds strange, but I believe you, we got him. We got student A. We got student A. He's smart! He knows all about gossip! He's got plus one knowledge! Talk to him. Kaede looks at you and blushes. Good thing we're in this together, right? <gasps> he thinks we're cute, too! That means we can kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go save the world, student A. Okay, um, we have to go up here. <laughs> okay, um, you've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you, though. Okay, you, he's gonna try to offer you stuff. And you can't take anything. I like how it's like urban legend based. I think that's really cool. And you have to like learn about the you have to learn about the legend to be able to like win. Um let's go let's go to the hospital and investigate. Oh you will kiss him alright, right on his neck before you sink your fangs in. <laughs> Just a little kiss. Just, just a little, 
It's a horrible taste. Stinger A. Stinger A. Cause it's really like. How you can a little bit. Candy. Yeah. Uh, okay. As a part of the therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of the work fills you with dread. <laughs> Minus two reason. That's dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they could have written. If they slightly changed how that was written, it wouldn't sound so dumb. Okay. Like, <laughs> is that Lovecraftian? Like, oh, you looked at art and it was scary. <laughs> you, you went insane. <laughs> Not as one hundred rings and you see some disturbing fan art. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. Um. You, you learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only news. Well, not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today and another body has been found. Now it's personal. Akamanto has taken down too many ferns. That's too many ferns. Okay, uh, we gotta, we gotta investigate. We gotta investigate here. Investigating the school law. Must have been Sonic fan art. <laughs> um, we walk through the crowd space and someone bumps into us and quickly apologizes. Oh, we've, they tried to pickpocket us, but we caught them, so we got experience. Okay, the principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Okay, so let's investigate downtown. Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. What are you talking about? Call the police. Plus three percent doom. There was something in your version of events that didn't add up. You find it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you would think after like three of these events happening, your character would be like, Okay, I'm just gonna walk the opposite direction. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna call the police, I'm not gonna read the cursed book, I'm not, I'm just gonna walk over there. <laughs> um, who is preparing your food? Are there severed heads in it? <laughs> no. Huh. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there. Okay, let's. Uh, we gotta get over to the cursed toilet here. Me and my two friends, we broke into the school. Non Euclidean 101. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Okay, we don't have Ikumi with us, so we can only stare in disbelief. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, Gondir says, FBI, open up. We're here for your arrest for being too gosh darn adorable. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Thank you very much. So Duke says, dry grapes fall from your pocket and scatter on the ground. My 17 raisins. Pretty much. It was pretty much this game, huh? Squiddy says, you see a corpse all the road, you wonder if you should get some fast food, nice one, Raisin. <laughs> How's this possible, nice one, Raisin? It's just a view. It's just a shape. <laughs> okay, uh, now there is no turning back. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Investigate. You take a breath, plus 8% doom, yes. Plus one cholesterol. Legend alive. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squish. The sound of rubber boots. 
and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. Squash! Squash! <laughs> you can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. He's your big brother. <laughs> The door slowly opens. Ah, oh, here he is, Akamanto. Um, oh hi, Judge Seraphin. Hi, Lily. Hi, sir. Hi, Seraphin. The absolute lot. You are correct, Boxerus. You are correct. A man, a masked man, dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. He's too tall for the ceiling. <laughs> His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Were you like weird people? Or blue paper? <laughs> I don't want anything from you. It's getting darker. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes off their mask. As saw walls wither and rot and reality starts to crumble. <sighs> Lovecraft, that can't be your answer for everything. Not everything is all but reality crumbled. <laughs> reality is not cookies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He took his face off! He t it's the Aquaman Tell 2 4! Reality is nothing. Snap back to reality. Oh, the ghost will get you. Oh, the ghost will get you. <laughs> reality isn't cookies. Um, yeah, he's got so I guess we just slash at him. Who did a lot of damage to him? Where are you? Aquamanto stabs you. Okay, okay, okay. Face off, pretty much. <laughs> Gone. Plus 15% experience. We are very strong, apparently. Huh? It's Nick Cage and John Travolta in this movie. There's Aquamanto in his reality already, Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> There's Aquamanto in his reality already, Mom Spaghetti. Huh? Chocolate chip reality. Are you a vampire now? Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's my costume. You like it? Roar! Roar! Do we just two shot the boss? Yeah, cause we're epic like that. We're epic like that. Uh, hi Roth. Hi Roth. Uh, uh, you you said move up. This is a game. Didn't even read spaghetti mode. Oh, then I even need spaghetti. <laughs> when you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall, thinking it was all a dream. You stand up, only to hear a crack from under your shoe. There lies a broken crimson mask. Aquamanta might return one day, but now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape, ending A. Oh, we did it. We got the good ending. Rod says, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love We got reality crumbs in the bed. Hey, it's Cathery, Cathery, Cathery. Nice outfit, thank you very much. It's my, it's my costume. It's all I get all my candy. Until you stepped on the mask with your suit. My five stamina. <laughs> okay, the old god stirs. Fetid fumes. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. What does that mean? What does that mean? Here's your candy. Yum, 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 yum. Got a little key here. Take the key. Uh, uh, bah, bah. How's our, uh, we need cold shower. Cold shower. Um, cool. People. There's someone standing in the shadow watching from your door. Okay. 
Um, cool, cool. Let's uh, let's start a new mystery. I went to vampire cute. Congrats, I just woke up for the game. Yeah. Um, you better give her candy or she'll do her checks. She needs treats. I need treats. I need treats. 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 <laughs> okay, um, so let's go start a new mystery here. I sure hope Stan won't get cursed. Okay, we've, uh, we've done three of the five. And we're only at 33% doom, which is bonkers. What happens if I don't give you treats? You, uh... You can... You are not... You... You wanna not go to any treats with you? It's just a joke. And I want your I want your treats. I want I want You just give treats to tell works. <coughs> Me, all of it. How much candy would you give away if she should up for trick or turn? All of it, please. All of it. Each and every candy. Okay, um... Oh, this is her sound outside. Okay, um... Okay, so here's what we got. We only have two more mysteries. Far Out Feeble of a Fear Festival. Or... Bloody Brief of a Beckoning Bulletin. Let's do a... Uh, too far out Fable of a Fear Festival here. Your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter there's a bus ticket. What's the worst that can happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. <laughs> 27 years and it's not be a very popular festival. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Then get the candy factory to feed the candy directly to my house down to you. Yes! Finally! Finally! Today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Um, a fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Lord! The game said janky. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at this. Your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn giving you some time to explore. Festival begins at evening. To progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secret of this village, more actions will unlock. You spoil the there's a terrible secret. Secret, self-spoil, self-spoiled. <laughs> Lord. Okay, um, let's uh, explore the weird village. Or check out the inn for your action. Okay, let's check out the inn. Inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone's cleaned it last since, since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. I'm saying it sounds good. Plus two stamina. Aw, yeah. Aw, yeah. Wait a minute. You have a group, so they like to sing, dance, and, and, kazoo! 
probably. Um, Possum Face says, Roar! Roar! <laughs> um, okay, uh, we're in the hot spring. We got two stamina back. Can we do that again? It's a, wait. Am I capped out? Day one night. Oh, oh, it's a free action, but oh no. It's a free action to go there. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. The festival grounds is now open. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling. Something is wrong. It's getting late. Enjoy festival? Buy souvenirs? Look for friends or go back? Um... Let's, uh, let's look for friends. You stumble into your friend, Asato. Hey, can you spend some time with me? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start asking people to hang out with me like that. Hey, can you spend some time with me? Plus, father said you do make a great. Plus, father said do make a great. <laughs> but which hard to do is it to hang out with you uh, lots of friends are for <laughs> Holy cow that is funny <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, mood spelled backwards is doom. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to hang out with you because you're advertising the doom. Yeah, I'll help my friend, sir. Wait. Oh, he. J oh, he joined the party. Cool. What does he do? He's a witch. He's a witch. He knows two spells. Talk. He's a witch. That's cool. Doom. <laughs> I like that in our party we have um whatever my name is, Kana, Asato, and Student A. <laughs> Poor Student A. Kaede. <laughs> Not important enough to have his name on the list here. <laughs> hmm. A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything. And get ready to go back to bed. When suddenly, the moon comes out from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Well, obviously this is like a wicker man situation, so I'm not doing that, obviously. Okay, um, um, card student A, um, we're a village, so it seems like it was a good choice for vacation. <laughs> yeah, let's go to this weird village where something is definitely off. Uh, ex explore the town. We've got a bunch of friends now. What a scary person! Walking behind the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing looking masked figures block your escape. Do you save the old ones? Serve the head. Um, well, the fact that he's wearing a mask. Okay. 
There is no way these guys aren't, like, cultists, right? There is no way these guys aren't cultists, so should I lie? I should lie, right? Yes, we do. We apologize for this master. We knew it! The prophecies were true! The mask figures relax a bit, taking off the mask. Plus two hours. Wait, be joining us! <laughs> Plus ten percent doom. Oh, Karma is gonna do the sleepy sleepo. Hope you have a hacking great stream. Hope everyone has a good night. Good night, Carl, Carl, Karma. Hope you have a good sleep and, and thank you for hanging out. It was very pog. I, ho I hope you don't have scary nightmares. Good night, I love you. Um, okay. Um, Pasta says, you know, maybe your parents don't like you very much if they sent you on vacation here. Yeah, good point. Very good point. They got PC party being informed. Yeah, we have Kazumi. Oh, he's a nurse and gets uh, cheaper treatment and surgery options. We have Yoichi, who's a salary man. And he doubles available funds when I let him go. That's so cool. Okay, cool. Um... Um, I, I mean, I... Uh, so we want to learn more about the festival. Um... If we want to learn more about the festival, what should we do? Uh, that's extortion, my mom. Oh, how good are you I are? <laughs> yeah, it's Kala 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 now, the good egg. The good egg. Did you... Ho did you horrify a guy with a bag on his head turn into two friends? Yeah, they were cultists and they were like, You serve the old ones? And we were like, yes. And they're like, oh, okay, sorry. And they joined us. <laughs> okay, um... So, uh... I don't want to go into the forest here. I feel like that's a bad idea. Um... Um... Let's explore the town. We have a huge party! And despite your best efforts, you feel the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases, okay? Something is watching you from behind the trees. Skip time. Um... She can't make friends with anybody. Yeah. Good morning, Glorious Gaming. The old ones, aka the Boomer Guards. <laughs> um... Can I, like, sleep in my room? Onsen sounds good. Um, festival. Oh, can you not leave? Can you not leave once you're here? Because that doesn't make it sound like a free action if you can't just leave. Um, relax a bit. That's one reason I stamina. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening up at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that. It's not safe to hear. You decide to block entrance to your room with a nightstand. The festival's ending tomorrow and you can't be too careful. Sounds like Cthulhu to me, yeah. I, th I think that's what they're getting at. <laughs> um, I like to imagine it was one guy. But when we told him we served the Almighty, he was so happy he spun it half and they both joined us. I think you're probably right. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go into the forest. Abandoned hut. Um... Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Ah, uh, destroy the shrine. Five percent doom. It's not good. Um, what what awakens? Investigating thicket. Um, you discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Welcome to our village. <laughs> Welcome to our lovely village. Um, does Cthulhu give Squid candy in Spooktober? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, investigate the ground for clues. We've got our perception check success, which is good because our perception is only seven. Um, five experience. Why is it quiet all of a sudden? I don't know. To the festivals. That blood wars, everybody. Today's goal, find the missing people. Trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge lead to the outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Oh, it's cool how the screen pans over here. That's so cool. Four auctions until sunrise. Are you walking in circles? Frosted camp. Explore forest. Why is there sludge? It's demon sludge. Demon sludge. <laughs> in the forest, you can hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get closer. Help the dog. Lock trap fail! You free the dog with the rusty mechanism stabs and the trap closes on your head minus two stamina. <laughs> Why is the war? Um, that's a very good question. <laughs> um, you start to recognize some of the paths and rocks you've seen earlier. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. Oh no, it's Kinoko Gatherer! Sport! <laughs> He's controlled! He's being controlled by this thing! This thing is controlling him! We gotta take him down! His fungal spores made us cough. Sport! It's strangely a very good looking and interesting game. Yeah. To gain a new level, press the flashing button. Okay, we need reason. Uh, let's uh let's grab reason. Reason. Um Uh Outdoorsman is luck. Luck or charisma, which is lower? Um where is luck counted? I don't think I've seen luck anywhere. Uh... I guess out of those... Outdoorsman... Um, that was easy but not so easy. <laughs> yeah. Um... Well, our charisma is seven, and uh, our six, uh... I feel like we should do luck then. I, f I feel like we should do luck. Okay, okay. Um, resolve combat. Two oxygen till sunrise. Oh no. A heat wave continues with record temperatures. It's night time! <laughs> it's night time! What do you mean? <laughs> uh, an abandoned factory. This must be where they took everybody. Okay, go in. Go in. This reminds me of that creepy pasta. Okay, um, uh, let's go to the abandoned factory. Let's do it. Captured. While, <clears throat> while exploring the factory, you are caught by masked people you've seen from the inn's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We do you come? You hear a raspy voice. Your aunt's voice coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals towards the door behind him. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. Struggle. Oh, cool art. Very cool. What's that to reveal with the dog? Um... I wanna say it was like... Perception or something. It was something goofy that I wouldn't wanna level up. Um... 
How will you capture? You have an army that's a good point. We have like eight people with us. Um, a battle factory. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go in. Uh, well, we were incentivized to go into it because at dawn, there is supposed to be a very creepy thing awakened and everybody in the festival was murdered. So like, the cultists are gaining power. They're gaining power. They, they killed everybody at the cool festival and now their, their weird lord is going to rise up at, at daybreak. Um, pasta is creepy about the spaghetti arms embracing. No. Cookie, you better be getting good enough sleep. <laughs> uh, creepy pasta, she talking about you. Um, how, um, why are people not calling me creepy cookie? No! No! <laughs> okay. Whoa, it's the Lord! It's the weird king! He's got a funny head. <laughs> <laughs> With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of flashlights and the hand of a police officer saving you from fall. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the, about the ritual, blood, and elders being. The village is abandoned, with no trace of blood anywhere. You were the only one seeing the ancient horror. Far out fable of a fear festival, ending A. We got the good ending, boys. We got the good ending. Got the good ending. Well, if it wasn't true, then why do I have two of the people still in my party that I became friends with the cultists then? Huh? Huh? While you couldn't catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them, the people are safe. You board the old bus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. I mean, we... We didn't. <laughs> we got the good... We got the best ending and we didn't stop the ritual in time. <sighs> As that means. <laughs> Okay, um, we got some experience here. Doom is reduced. And one day passes. The old god stirs. The friendly dog disappeared last night. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. The store is closed. There's still hope by the street. Doom, Pog. The real cult is the friends we've made along the way. No, said Classy Head Crab. Classy Head Crab loves that dog. <laughs> Zizcom is gonna head out. Good night, Zizcom. I hope you have a good sleep, and thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching, Zizcom. Good night. You are talk. <laughs> you are talk. Good doggo! We gotta do this for the doggo. We gotta rescue the doggo. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What's it doing here? Can I open this now? Let me open this. Okay. Um. So my status. Uh, let's get a hot bath now. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Take a little peek through the peephole. Nothing weird. Okay, cool. Um. Access storage. There's nothing. Okay, okay. Vampire well is so cute, look at those adorable things. Ah, 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 voice slack. Um, yeah, so, uh, this is the final mystery. This is my final mystery of this run. Um, so if we solve this mystery, we're gonna figure out. We figure out what all of them have to do with each other. We can we can finish this run. We can complete this run. We just have to solve the bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Are you ready? Are you ready? The final mystery. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. 
These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on that bulletin, and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files, or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games, to sports, to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere in Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people be so driven to take their own lives? I'm not PBS. PBSs are dangerous and so... The technology sounds dangerous and so... Yeah. Yeah. Um... It was Professor Plum in the library with the candlestick. Mystery solved. Mystery solved. Lemon things are too scared. Give her your candy. Hi, Mingo said. I hope your test went well. Hope you have a good test. When he knows all about BBS, he used to run early born in the 1990s. No, I didn't. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, huh. It did, I hope. Heck yeah. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one. That will work. Ah, uh, can we go to the hospital? I wish I could, um, heal injuries. Now let's heal injuries here. Enter pharmacy, 3% doom. Enter doctor's office, 2% doom. Um, which one should I go to? Doctor's office? How can I help today? Uh, I have fractured ribs. Treatment, one friend. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Discharge summary. Discard 20 experience. If I discard, I gain 20 experience? Is that what you're saying? Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hmm. Did I gain experience? <laughs> uh... You gain free 20 experience. Oh, okay, cool. That's not- Why well, is going to the hospital adding doom? That's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah. Is there a way to purge doom? Um, completing a mystery gets rid of a little bit of it. Um... But it seems like in general, it, doom goes up as a function of time. Um... Okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, investigate the- wait, what's my health at? Thirteen. Uh, I kind of want to rest. Uh, I kind of want to rest. Let's go rest. Here we get one stone. Well, if it's a haunted hospital. <laughs> exactly. Okay, my broken ribs are finally better from picking up that book. This game reminds you of papers, please. <laughs> okay, um... Let's, uh, let's investigate the school. We have to see if the school library has a computer that we can connect to the, the rumored weird BBS system that's linked to all of those deaths. You were stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months, but how could you? She died in an accident. Are all of those characters friends? Oh no, that was scary. I don't like that. Um... Okay. Having like a million attacks here. Soccer girl bites you. No. Oh no. Cool. We have her occult diary. 
Cool. Um, while the school's library doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet at her home in the city. Cool. Oh, we have, um, we have a, a side quest. We have to go to the forest twice. Let's go to the forest here. Imagine be, being able to connect to Leanna. That's really scary. I agree. I agree. Uh, you have a feeling you've been, you're being watched when you hear a branch snapping. You quickly turn around. There's someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Um, start running. Minus two stamina. We tripped on a root. We tripped on a root. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, rescue forest. Stalker girl, kind of cute. Maybe it's okay if she bites. The trees, the trees overhead block up the sunlight, and you begin to feel gloomy. Minus two weeks. <laughs> okay, we got the sub quest here. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Okay, we got an item from that. Let's go home. Uh, let's look at item storage. Forest notes. Uh, can we all uh, get rid of this? I wish I could... I wish I could put this in, um... What does this do? Um, this game looks cool. This is cool. It's like procedural storytelling. It's kind of nifty. It's kind of nifty. Good thing none of us are on the internet, right? <laughs> oh, hi, pretty. I, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're having a good all day. Um... Okay, okay. So, um, the fourth note says I want to write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Um, there won't be anything left but us. And everyone here is waiting for you. Listen to the voice of humanity. Okay, listen to the voice of humanity. Um, that might be a, a clue for a puzzle later. Um, voice of humanity. Um... I'm going to... I'm going to sell the ritual dagger here. Trade in. Occult diary says... Book occult personal. Use minus three doom! Use it! Heck yeah. Oh, looking cool, humanity. Yeah. Procedural nifty get nift. <laughs> The briefcase icon on the iron man you stars the iron. Oh. Oh, I thought it was grayed out. Because it has like a black background. Okay, okay. Cool. Thank you. Pog. Um let's rest. Got plus one. Let's rest one more time. Plus one. Okay. Um, so now... We have to, uh, meet the member of the computer club and use her computer. We have to use her computer to figure out the weird mystery. This investigation is taking a toll on you. Plus four percent doom. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs. Teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. Gosh darn it! Computers are so heavy! Okay. Go back to my apartment. I'm borrowing her computer. We will see if... We'll uh, plug in the computer and see if it has anything weird on it. We're gonna get to the bottom of all of these weird BBS deaths. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. How about I don't get any of them because every random choice is like, Oh, you drank it, but it was bugs. Or like, you drank it and it was water from another dimension. And now you see a new color that you never saw before. Minus sixth reason. Uh, okay. Um, 
Let's see though, I'm gonna get the cheapest one. Dex check success. Five experience. Well no, I'm too smart for a game, yeah. Okay. Um you wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse. The morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. We gotta act quickly. We gotta act quickly. Okay. Gotta investigate here. Nice, nothing bad happened. Off brand so for the way, yeah. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. <laughs> oh, he gave me a concussion. Now my brain is small. Okay, we got some experience. Pick up a baseball bat. Who's <laughs> off like you says people happy? Oh, we have a level up here. I'm gonna put it in stamina. I'm going to put it in stamina. What do we have here? Folklore studies. Hot bath and... I'm gonna take folklore studies to make up for our concussion. And I am going to put it into stamina. Okay, um... It says, hoping to find a lead. You head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been. The hospital is in chaos. The staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slipped out of the waiting room and head into the hospital corridors. Oh, hi, Kurvachev. Concussion make for it small. You are correct. You are correct. Okay, we're going to go to the hospital here. Investigate. We're gonna go on. We have to learn. Um. Oh, we failed the check. We failed the check. We looked in the cabinet and we cut ourselves on a rescue scalpel blade. Cool. Minus two stamina. Okay. In the hospital, you overhear two nurses talking about a girl uh, whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. To the nearest bus stop. Oh, hi, Kovic. <laughs> so Duke says, everyone say hi to Kovic. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. I've been here the whole time. No, I just like saying hi to people. I'm not saying like, when I say hi to somebody, I'm not like, oh, welcome to the chat for the first time. Hi, wel welcome. I just get really excited when I see people's names that I recognize and I'm like, oh, wow. Wow. Hi. Hi. Hello. I don't know. I, was, I wasn't trying to be like, oh, oh, oh thanks for just joining just now. Um, okay. Um, so we, uh, we, so we have to, uh, she was just in the hospital, we have to go to her grandparents' house to, uh, we have to, we have to visit her and find out what she saw. What did she see on that bulletin board? What made her do it? Okay, let's go here. Let's look at a funny picture of the cat. Old friend, that's a very cute drawing. <laughs> very, very cute. Um, you're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. You can't use the web. It's going to make you go bonkers if you look at the wrong website. Because the old gods are taping on their old god computers. Oh, hello, Lily. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> um, um... Uh, Kurbatev, um, says, How do I stop chat from taking a joke too far? In my experience? <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. You can't. They're going to... They're going to take it as far as they want. Um, okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Um. Uh, maybe she knows something useful. Invite for a coffee. What are we gonna do if we do this? Minus one friend. 
And between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once more. Could this be the reason for the recent horrific events? Seven experience, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Impossible. There's only one way to stop chat. How do you do it? How do you do it? You got a paper cut on the recipe book, Mahis 2 Stamina. <laughs> hmm. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students all leapt in front of a train hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Okay, let's go to the village, investigate. We have to go to the grandparents' house here. Only a fool would only a fool would use something as foolish as a gun to kill chat. Yeah, you can't kill chat, I'm sorry. But my friends and I fight for my friends. I fight for my friends. Um, it's the curious bookstore. You've stumbled stumbled upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize like a giraffe. Um, can I help you? Ask. Oh, he's a tiny man. I help you. Ask the tiny man. And behind the counter. I have things to. I have things that will help. And yeah, quest. Okay, um. Let's go. Let's go on. No, I don't want that. Take your time and see you soon. Okay. Cool. The dungeon scaring figure. Well, the fight for my friends mean is this the new anime? This is my head pat launcher. Um, when you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Oh no, this is sad. Okay, a whole group of people is going to come here. Look, it's so easy. That's gross. That's gross. It's bugs, Susie. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Feeling hungry? You've entered a small local restaurant and ordered with the day. You ordered the daily special made with today's cash. Where the heck did those fishermen go? No way you're gonna eat that. Nice one, Stamina. The smell of the dish almost makes you sick and you run out of the ghastly restaurant. Hmm. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. They went fishing. <laughs> they did go fishing. I can't know how. Such travesty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we have to investigate here again. An old man stops you and invites you into his house. You follow reluctantly, only to be amazed by the number of dusty old sorcery books inside. Everybody's a freaking wizard in this game. Everybody's a wizard, and picking up a book can break your ribs, or like, make you... Everybody's a wizard. Huh? The ghost shrimps. Hi, Jackson. Who well, is a cute... Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, but there's a spectral fly in my spectral soup. <laughs> Living in a world is dangerous. You are a classy head, classy head crab. Uh, everyone is a wizard. I'm a wizard, said Pasta Face. I don't want to learn magic. My friend's <laughs> camera. You don't decline me, you fool! He shouts as you escape the house. The old man throws the books at you, and one of them hits you in the head. My stamina is so low. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number, 
and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone, and then it finally connects. Hi, Zyle. It's a world of horror. It is. <laughs> We're having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> it's what I meant by that. <laughs> I'm telling Chad a story. It's like this entire... It's like this entire world is horror. <laughs> no, she says... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love saying hi to everyone. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay, we're connected. This is the website that makes you die. Welcome home. Do you like it? Yes or no? Ah. Uh... Okay, the note of someone who went to the website said, I wrote this for everyone who wanted to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. A life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share of share death. That that connection will all lost you. There won't be anything left for us. Everyone is here. Everyone here is waiting for you. So if you lose your resolve, listen to the voice of humanity. That's scary. That's scary. I don't like that. Um, help computer haunted. <laughs> I think TC cleaner not fixed. Uh, but nobody pays for Lena. This is what happens when you pay for Lena. Um. Yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Good thing we freaking read that note, or we would have gone bonkers. Please stop the adult hello song. <laughs> oh, great philosophical question. Where is the money of this pizza? <laughs> Actually, go. Hmm. Everyone is here now. We was they got sucked into the computer. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. You need to think carefully about how to respond. You can't save everyone. Suffering is human. Or I don't want to die. Um... Hmm... Hmm... So this is really real! Does this game take place in the 80s? Yes, it does. Uh, it takes place in 1984. Um... Uh, let's see, how should we... How, how should we do this? Um... You can't save everyone. You explain the imminent arrival of the old god. With its limitations, the bulletin could never hope to gather humanity in time, not to mention how many people are unable to access a computer. As it is, convincing all of humanity to die is impossible. Oh. Then we'll have to wait. It's disappointing, but that's alright. When computers advance and everyone can be connected, we'll come back for you. It's a promise, okay? Oh, that's creepy! That's creepy! That's creepy! I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like that can't be the good ending, right? <laughs> There's no way that could be the good ending. The noise on the other end of the line suddenly cuts off completely. 
Still reeling from the mental assault, you find yourself staggering toward the futon. You collapse into it and sleep soon takes you. You're awakened by the sound of the phone ringing. After what just happened, you hesitate to answer. You warily grab the handset. You put the phone to your ear and hear the trembling voice of the girl you met in the village. Uh, I can't thank you enough. It was in my head and I nearly... She burst into tears, thanking you over and over. You smile, relieved. You later learn that the suicides have come to a sudden and complete halt. Oh, we did get the good ending. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. But even still, its promise lingers in your mind. How long do you have until it comes back for you? You smother the thought. For now, it's finished. Cool. There's still hope. The old god stirs. Okay, we've we've completed all five mysteries. Arcane storm. Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented aurora-like aurora event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural rad green glow. I think that's supposed to stay unnatural. Are you wearing sign? Yeah. Yeah, we're wearing Pika to the coffin. Pika to the coffin. Pika to the coffin. Pika to the coffin. <laughs> Ah. Catherine, we just solved a mystery. My home. Take the key. You're great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I feel like you can't call them Gwalior Hanks. Oh, we can try. We can try. My stamina is so low. Doom is at 82%. 82%. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, um... You're currently not investigating any weird mystery. Okay, um... Let's get... You scrub yourself, but you'll never be clean again. Huh? Um... Uh... Can you say Pika to the club band but in the voice of Count Dracula from Sesame Street? No. No. No, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> Detective Dracula is on the case. Yeah. I am Dracula. <laughs> I have a message here. Who's it from? keep going after the ending. Yeah, cause um cause there's five different like sub mysteries and you have to like you have to solve all of them. So there's like different story arcs you have to do and then there's like the game is haunted, it goes forever, it sucks you in. Yeah, um you have to solve all five of the mysteries it gives you and then and then something happens. Um I missed any. You could take a roller coaster of emotions by redeeming insult chat and compliment chat. <laughs> I might bring it back, I don't know. Um, I like the idea of shuffling around what is available. <laughs> I like adding new ones and bringing back old ones and like just changing them around. Uh, Zaya wants to get complimented. Well, y'all just, uh, uh, y'all, y'all just, <laughs> y'all just a cool. Crazy Cthulhu monster, cool. <laughs> That's what you are. Hmm. Oh. oh, we finished all of them. There's no more mystery. Wait, how do you, what do you do now? I'm so confused. 
Um, do I go to the lighthouse now? Um, you beat the game. I don't know, it's scary. Roar! You beat the game, you're so good. Thank you very much. I'm gonna be a cool crazy Cthulhu monster, but you can have my candy. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello, I scared this on. Um, this is my Halloween costume. I wanna turn ejaculately. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's uh, look at the town status. You look super scary. Yeah. Pog. Pog. How do I leave here? <laughs> okay, leave something to charge here. Thank you for a hundred bits. <laughs> thank you very much. <clears throat> um, thank you, authentic wine flavor. Authentic wine flavor. <laughs> Okay, um, get back to the town screen. I wish I could heal, but I mean, I can't, so. You wouldn't happen to be able to do a Dracula voice, could you? No, but I can learn for tomorrow. <laughs> the Honest Lighthouse has been closed down since for longer than you can remember. Enter. You need five keys. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And to the lighthouse. Dots are cute. No, no, no. And the stream she turns into a bat and flies off. Yeah. You finally made it into the cursed lighthouse. Bats are cute, they are cute. One time there was a... One time I was sleeping in my room at, in the summer and my window was open and a bat flew in my room. <laughs> that was cool. Um... You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid, and there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Ah, uh, rest. Rest, rest. Rest. Okay, let's go up. Start climbing. Climbing. I really want candy, you'll have to take care of this one too. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, candy, please. Child of blood, knives. Following the wall. <coughs> I need some water. Please halt. Um. Thank you very much for the fall of the junk in Pyro. I hope you enjoy the channel. Talk. <coughs> you really want to say something about bats, but you don't want to ruin that great movie. What could it be? What could it be? <laughs> I'm really curious now. Um, following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. <coughs> it's locked. But you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting caught by not numerous glass shards and knives. Okay, there's a dex check. We succeeded. And we avoided the knives and glass shards, and we opened the gate, plus 10 experience. Climbing up the lighting staircase, you are stopped by a man, by a masked man, wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, Kato. He starts taking the jacket and mask off. Nothing personal, really. Nothing personal, Kato. Can you worry, dude? 
Um, technically yes, but not easily. It's very, very hard to, um, and generally, um, generally, um, no, but there, you can, you can briefly lower a little bit of it, um, <laughs> nothing personal, okay, it's Taka Sison, can only imagine how hard working Goki is and he doesn't want to hear me, what do you mean? Oh wow, we do so much damage. I can't believe we beat him so easily. Well, all photos of me following the winding staircase, you're a star. What? Wait a minute. Someone has been taking your photos. They focused on the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't say precisely what. So look, the enemy you fought us the second one. Aquamanta. Long answer, 5 doom. <laughs> We're at 98% doom. We're at 98% doom. We're at 98% doom. So look, the title of the mystery you investigated as the second one. Oh, you did you go first. The second one was the vigil. Correct answer. We got 10 EXP. Aw, oh, yeah. The music in the background is so good. Yeah, I think so too. Following the winding staircase. The doom is at 100%. <laughs> the doom is at 100%. Uh, uh, a thick black fog is obscuring your vision. And you can swear something is waiting for you inside to continue climbing. You decide to breathe through the veil. Nice three reason. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we lost. We lost. You're too late. When you arrive to the museum, the firefighters are already struggling to contain this burning fire. You managed to slip through the police and run inside. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> we were so close. That's how they get you. That's how 